Sweet. We're live anyway. <laughs> that was weird. YouTube was saying live stream isn't available right now, but here we are anyway. The uh, start stream button still lit up. It took a little bit longer than usual, but uh, anyway. Welcome back, everyone. Looks like... The well, I'll look, give me a second actually to make sure my stream is actually running because I'm I'm looking at the screen now and there's still nothing there. Absolutely nothing there. Oh, Ad there we go. I got an advertisement for my own stream. Okay, we're good. Hello, everyone. Um, welcome back to Soon Set. It's been a little while. Let me get my webcam back up as well. Um, yeah, been a little while since we played the Soon Set campaign, so we're gonna be doing that again today. Um, before we get properly started though, this is a sponsor stream. The stream is sponsored by, in fact, once again, Raid Shadow Legends. So I'm going to be running a quick advertisement and then uh, we'll get started after that. So just a minute. This stream is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. If you haven't heard of this game yet, you might have been living under a rock for the past year. Raid Shadow Legends is a free to play dark fantasy RPG that's playable on both phones as well as PC. Let me show you some gameplay of the campaign. This is a fully voiced story which has you go through several stages before ultimately fighting a boss. You can even turn on an auto battler that will let you sit back and enjoy the show while your champions make mincemeat of their opponents. After each stage you receive a bunch of rewards from silver to gear, with the final boss fights giving even better rewards like epic gear and shards that will give you new champions. Raid Shadow Legends also has a daily rewards program, where for each day you log in, you get free rewards. Anything from energy refills, silver, gems, shards, and even free champions, including the legendary champion Sill of the Drakes, a crowd control and support champion. This reward program used to be 90 days, but has now been doubled to 180 days, meaning you'll be getting free stuff for the next 6 months. If any of this has piqued your interest, make sure to download the game. The links are in the description. If you're a new player, you'll also receive 100,000 silver and a free epic champion, Lightsworn, a master of defense. You will find these rewards on the top right of the screen in the homepage. I'll see you in game. All right, we're back. Thank you guys for watching that. So, who doesn't love adverts for Raid Shadow Legends? Exactly. Fucking great, especially when you get to edit them yourself. Um, okay, so last time we left off, it's gonna take me a little while to catch up with everything. I had a look beforehand, obviously, to kind of uh, get you know some feeling for what was going on. Um, but yeah, we were besieging uh, this faction here, uh, or this this well this town, Janya, um, with the army led by oh god, what's his name again? One guy, uh, Taishichi, and some random Lufan. Um, we were going to take that out, or at least we're going to siege them out for now. They're taking attrition, so they might sally out, but we'll see. Either way, it doesn't really matter. And then we're going to go and take this place here, which I believe this guy is still just a normal faction. Yeah. But then the goal was to take Wang Lung's towns down here, these three, because they are important for the legacy of Wu Ambition, which will, of course, get an extra plus two uh, reckless luck per turn, which we need, otherwise we're going to die at some point. We are currently gaining. We're gaining we're on a plus two right now, but that's because we have the plus five from this for four more turns. So four turns from now, we're going to go down again, um, but only by three per turn. So it's going to take us quite a while before we would die, but still, we need to take that, and that's going to slow it down a little bit more, and then we need to do like one more thing after that, and then we're, we're basically good to go. Um, well, however, the problem was that Wang Lang was uh, vassalized by the Duchy of Song, who now has one billion vassals, Kong Rong, Liu Bei, Han Empire, Hua Xin, Wu Langfang, Shi Huang, Wang Lang, Zhang Yang, and Zhang Ba. Um, so someone did mention last time that what we could do is just declare war on Wang Lang himself, which will not uh, pull in all the vassals. It will, of course, pull in uh, the Duchy of Song. But that would mean that we're only the the Duchy of Song and Wang Lang, which is okay. The problem with that, with that would come uh, from the fact that um, he might grab other people and, and make them go to war with me as well. I mean, we could lose trade with Liu Bei, for example. We could trade, lose trade with the Han Empire. Um, not sure if we got any other trade going there, but yeah, Zhang Yang as well. So there's uh, there's quite a few uh, trade um, deals that we could lose from that. So that would be pretty problematic. Um, but still, we are, we probably have to do it, uh, but we can do that after we take out the town uh, that Zhu Xiao owns over there. Uh, other than that, have a quick look at all this stuff. I do have one more thing to do. Oh, we can form a coalition with Han Sui. Interesting. We have one deal we can make with uh, Liu Biao. We are going to sell this town, which I wasn't planning on keeping. Uh, we'll do that in a second as well. Um, Zhang Ling right over here. 
because uh, yeah, we don't really want this province, and selling it to him, we can get like incredible money and stuff like that. So we're gonna we're gonna do that. And so I'll I'll take the rest of Changsha because that's actually a legacy Wu ambition as well. Although I don't think that one was gonna give us um, anything. Let me have a look. Uh, Chung Changsha, wait. Okay, God, I gotta remember all this stuff. Changsha, there you go. This one is gonna give us uh, construction costs for settlement administration and population growth, so yeah, whatever. Um, the only other ones that are gonna give us more reckless luck per turn is the Zhangye, which is all the way in the east, that was what we were doing. And then uh, Kwaji as well, which is the province that's owned by Wang Long, I believe, yeah. So that's gonna give us uh, another two per turn, which will, because we're currently on seven, so that will bring us up to nine which means we're only on minus one and then if we take that province we're on um plus one per turn it's still gonna take a long time to build it back up again and then if we can get um winning five jewels with sunset which really shouldn't be that difficult to think about it um then we can get we get another plus one from that and then we'd be up to plus two and i'm pretty sure that's the last you can actually get um except for some of them of course giving just plus five reckless luck for five turns or whatever or for one turn isn't it i don't even know um so yeah, still a lot to do, uh, but mostly, most importantly, we take these towns here and we are going to be positive after that, so that's the main thing. Anyway, hello everyone. Re, where's my band lord? Sorry. Oh, slash sarcasm, it's okay. Um, yeah, band lord will be back, but I wanted to play something different today and people have been asking for this for a while now, so. Anyway, so starting off with selling uh, jungling, I think that's what we should really do first. So, I have here... Uh, jungling town, only level 2 town, is worth 22 already. We also had some other deal I was gonna make. Um, because I looked at this, I looked at this last time at the end of the stream. I had a look at that, but I, I can't remember what I did. I have so many weapons and armor and stuff. We're pretty good on ancillaries, just not really on these ones. Only have four across the board, that's kind of sad. Uh, anyway, okay, so he doesn't have anything for me. What have you got in terms of uh, money though? Because I checked this and we were gonna make like several hundred to yeah like a lot basically 1500 bucks per turn i feel like it was higher last turn i must have i must have put something else in here as well maybe oh yeah food right because he's on minus so we can give him 12 food oh we only have 10 food though oh boy okay hold on before i make any decision on food then I'm, am i gonna make or gain any more food this isn't currently costing me any food this is gonna lose me two food per turn that's gonna lose me two okay so i'm actually really only on six so that's a uh, yeah gotta keep that in mind um are we gonna, we're gonna probably lose some from this town here, unless this is food. But it's a salt mine, so even if it did, it does have a, a port, the harbor, but I don't think that's gonna give me any food, or if any, it's not much. And it's gonna lose me much food from this town, so I can't really give him food, because I'm not gonna gain any, unless I have some food buildings being upgraded. Okay, I have one food coming in from there, uh, and that's nothing, and I think that's probably it. I should probably just go through all my towns like this. Uh, and I get, I guess this is actually not one food, but two because of that as well, but I'm not entirely sure. So I don't really, I can't really give him that much food, to be honest. Um, so I gotta keep that in mind. I, I can perhaps do that with Zheng Zhang. Okay, let's have a freaking reminder on who all these people are as well, because I have a bunch of people in my faction that I'm not currently using. So we currently have two armies and a random person as well, because I... Or no, wait, you're administrator. Okay, okay. So you're not actually current in the army. So yeah, we have two armies. So that's this army and, of course, the main army. Pretty sure I still need to replace some cav. Yes, these guys, these lands cav. I'm pretty sure I was going to replace them with mercenary cav. Well, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, let me have a look at that. So stat-wise, we lose morale. We gain charge bonus. Uh, we lose a bunch of melee damage we gain a bunch of armor piercing damage we l gain a whole load of melee evasion we lose a little bit of armor and we lose a ton of speed uh i don't know if i want those actually i do want a tiger guard i think that's what i was going to do actually is replace these guys over here with tiger guard i'm pretty sure that was definitely a thing i was going to do because this guy's level five now which means i'm pretty sure he can get tiger guard if i remember correctly uh no they're level six never mind level six level six okay never mind See, this is this is all the information I need to kind of get back to where I was last time because I don't freaking remember. I also have um, how much? We have fifty shared ex expertise, so we can do that as well. Sun Chuan came of error pretty recently. He's yeah, he's eighteen years old, so he came of error pretty pretty uh, recently indeed. 
We have uh, Lu Meng, who must be a unique character. Yes, I'm pretty sure everyone except for Lady Wu is a unique character. But with her, did I marry someone into the family? Lu Jun, I married with her, didn't I? Hold on, I can probably see uh, in here. Uh, Lu Jun, yeah, married to Lady Wu, okay. So that's, that's why he's here. We also can do this. What is that again? Uh, oh right, it does nothing unless you have a certain level up. Uh, spy stuff, okay, I don't give a shit about that for now, really. Okay, we got Han Dang, who's a um, unique character as well. Yeah, we just have a bunch of unique characters, except for Lady Wu, basically. And she's not going to see the light of day for a while, but that's okay. We must have made Sun Quan our heir, yes, so that's already happened as well, which is why we are now on high satisfaction. Okay, that's, that's why that is. You're still pretty unhappy, though, but that's okay for now, I guess. Um... Why are you unhappy, by the way? General discontent. Desires higher core position. Okay, well, I guess we can give her a spy position. How much would that cost me? Nothing. Uh, but also, on the other hand, I think I was waiting until I maybe need to recruit someone. Okay, so, the point is, I'm not going to afford another army for a little while, I'm pretty sure. I I think Zhang Zhang would be my next character to recruit into an army rather than, Zhu, uh, rather than Lu Meng. But for now, we can make her make a bunch of food so I can sell a bunch of food to this uh, to him. Although I guess let's have a look at how much that would even be worth, because that's probably a good idea as well. Uh, so, Zhang Ling, because it's worth a lot in that regard. I guess like, because he owns a town over here, can I? I'm not bordering that. Actually, well, technically I am, I guess. Hold on. What is this? Is this um, Badong? Is Badong? Uh, Badong isn't really part of anything I want right now, because it's further that way. So, I, I mean, in the future probably, but for now I don't think I care. Just have a curiosity though, how much would that be? 23 for the lumber yard, 54. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. I could do take the lumber yard, but that's that would just be a trade for now. That's not really worth doing. Um okay, so how much money can I get from this? So it'd be close to two grand, I imagine. Yeah. Um dropping by two hundred. Okay, so we can definitely get like nineteen hundred bucks or something. If I were to remove the food, um so yeah, let's say nine. Well, I guess we could find out properly. Nineteen hundred and twenty or something. Yeah, nineteen. Yeah, okay, fine. Nineteen twenty. That's fine. So let's make that uh, like fifteen hundred. We remove the food. Okay, we can get more than that. Sixteen hundred. No. Uh, fifteen sixty eight seven. No, nope, that's too much, right? Fifteen sixty. Okay, so I lose. What was it nineteen twenty? I lose about four hundred and sixty food. Um, or 460 income for 10 food. So putting Zheng Zhang into her role for a little while would would increase my income by 460 for 10 turns. That's pretty good, to be fair. I think I'm going to do that. All right. Um, so where is she going to go? Because where's the where's the place where we get the most food? This is giving us 15 food. That's probably it, to be honest. I guess it's easier to just look at it like this. Um, so three, fifteen. Yeah, I very much doubt any of these other smaller towns give me more than that. Okay, so we're gonna put her in here. Uh, give me some more food. It's not gonna happen immediately, but that's okay. We can still do this deal anyway. All right. Here's ten food. Here's my town. Uh, sorry, this one. And I want nineteen hundred and seventeen or something. Wow. It's not actually enough. All right, 1915. Okay, we're going to be minus food right away, like immediately this turn. But um, I think that's probably worth doing. So we're on minus four, yeah. Okay. But that's going to be okay again next turn. Right, so you are now... Oh, you got kind of pushed out the wrong way. That's a bit unfortunate. It's going to take a long, longer time to get home now, but oh well. I maybe should have thrown him in the water first. I would have started with more movement next turn as well because of our uh, faction-wide bonus thing, but that's okay. Right, you're going to just head over here, I guess. I don't quite know what your next goal is because I can't... Uh, you know, we're, we're not at war with the Han Empire yet, so I can't really attack them. We're obviously not going to be going to war with these people. I have military access to them and support vassal independence. Are you supporting my independence? Am I not independent already? <laughs> I am, but okay. Um... Notice me, Senpai. Hello, Jack. We... Some. Cheers for bringing Free Kingdoms back. No worries. Um, let's be historically accurate and set Zhu Yu as Prime Minister, shall we? Now. Right. Uh, I have a couple more assignments, actually. I don't know why I wasn't doing those. I can do two more, uh, unless it was something pointless. 
minus 50% corruption is not really point has has no real point yet uh, income from commerce silk and spice we can do income from peasantry it's not really that great I guess Lady Wu should do something well you know she's not doing anything doing anything so this place is making me a little bit of money from peasantry 215 um, 215 there as well is that the same that's the same province and that's, that's still the same province uh, that's 25 from peasantry. I'm pretty sure this one's the highest one. Okay, so we'll shove you in here and we'll do some income from peasantry. And finally, I, we could still do commerce, silk, and spice, but I don't think we're making a whole lot from commerce anywhere. And I don't think I need anything else. So, industry, I guess, could be okay. Once we take this place, this will be great for industry. This will be insane for industry, in fact. Okay, but we'll leave it for now. Um, so yeah, you're gonna have to move next turn. Uh, you're fine sieging that out for now. I think I'm pretty sure we already built a bunch of stuff, so we're gonna just continue that. They might sally out this turn because we're taking attrition. That's okay. I'm not gonna do the actual fight because that would just be a way to get my men killed. James is having a nightmare apparently. Uh, what else is there to look at? We don't want to do the court thing. Is there anyone available to hire or something? I don't think so. No, I would have done that last time. Yeah, Zhang Zhao, but we're gonna get him from taking that town that we're about to take, so that's okay. Faction Council. We have dire civil unrest. Uh, move any character to Poyang Copper Mine. I'm not planning on doing that anytime soon, so why don't we just invoke the council for some new missions here? So that's a way. Construct a government support building, schools, forge an alliance with Hua Xin, uh, be at war with Wang Lang. Well, that one might happen. Uh, and build a settlement administration building. Okay. A couple of those should be easy enough. Um, what else we got? I don't think there's much else to do, really. Our reforms. We got a new one coming in five turns, so we just done one. Uh, yeah, okay, so we're not there already. I need to build the tax collection building to get down this tree. I don't know if that was my next like goal to go down that way, but it's definitely worth doing. Do it. Um, so I think we will also need to get all the food stuff. So I've, maybe that's what I should go for next, actually, because this is. I mean, this is good, but it's not as important. Pretty sure happiness is generally okay as well in our provinces. So we'll see, though. If I can build tax collection, maybe I need to remove one of these buildings. I'll build tax collection just to have it, and then I can unlock the first one at least, and then get rid of it again. But we'll see. For now, let's end the turn, I think. Pillage and kill donkey. That's all there is to do. Kill donkey. He wants me to become a vassal. Uh, no, I'm afraid I'm not interested in that. Appreciate the offer. I understand why everyone else is becoming a vassal now. It's just fucking handing out chests full of cash to everyone. Yo, you want to be my vassal? Here's a fucking billion dollars. Dollar hasn't even been invented yet. Here you go. It's all yours. Alright. Cao Cao vassalized Zhang Yan. Peace treaty signed between Zhang Yan and uh, Liu Biao. Okay. Zhang Yan leads the coalition of subdued some Gong Shenzhen. Alliance of Lu Bu declared war on Guanji. Ma Tong requested the Duchy of Song to join their war. Okay, Liu Bia signed peace with Dong Li Xiang Shan Shu. Is that the person I'm besieging over here? It is not that. Yes, it is actually. Okay. Uh, Liu Bei joined a war alongside Duchy of Song. Alliance of Yang Fan declared war on Shi Yi. Oh my God, all this stuff. We got a new weapon, an exquisite weapon, in fact. Another heirloom spear. I'm pretty sure we already have several of those, but it's okay. And a clay doge. All right. And we build this. We're on seven food now, so yeah, that, that worked out pretty well. Okay, uh, we're making four ground a turn as well, which is nice. I didn't sally out, but that's okay. We'll siege him out for a couple of turns. It's fine by me. We have an unhappy lady here. That's okay. We could give her a doge just to shut her up for a minute. You haven't got anything here. Uh, oh, because you're not actually current in an army. Fair enough. You haven't got anything there, but we're all locked up on those. Just kind of have a, a feel for all this stuff as well, because I haven't really looked at this for a while. You haven't got anything here, but I guess you can just have some extra resolve or something. Uh, or some damage. Eh, no, I have some resolve. Then you haven't got a weapon, but that's not really relevant. We have horses, we have resolve and authority horses, but no one currently actually wants those, so that's why. And then you're currently already decked out. Okay. Yeah, we have we have a couple of those spears. We have weapons for a day, so that's not really a problem. All right, you're unhappy. That's that's fine. You can stay unhappy. I don't give a fuck. Right, you are. Oh, there's Liu Bia right there with his mate. 
Wang Zhong. Right, you're gonna head down this way, back home again. I don't know what exactly your goal is, but it's gonna be in this area at, at the very least. Who, who the hell are you? Why are you sitting over here? Uh, you're still sieging that out, so that's all fine. We have a building we could build here. I could upgrade this town. I don't know if that's something I want to do. But I don't know exactly what I'm currently doing in terms of cities. I haven't got that much food, which is the main problem. But I guess for now it's okay. We can just keep uh, Zheng Zhang doing that. Although I don't really want to for you know too long because she is obviously quite a decent fighter. Be a waste not to use her properly as the, as such. Common in free case, somewhat more dynamic generals of stone skill. What are we talking about? Yeah, Shogun two versus three kingdoms still the war. Um, only diplomacy is better. To me, Free Kingdoms campaign is just better, like almost in every way than Shogun Two. Uh, anyway, I think that was it for this turn. To be honest, I don't know. I guess I can have a look at quick deals. I haven't really done this for a little while, so we got plenty of peace we could sign. Or uh, non aggression pact. I mean, sorry. Who are you? I don't know who you are. Gongshu Lanting. I can't see, so I'm assuming. Oh, she's over there. Okay, well, I'm planning on attacking you anytime soon. So, have you got a bunch of money for me? Oh, wow, you definitely don't. Um, you have a weapon, though. I would actually totally take that, but that's probably too much. 3.9. Would I be willing to give you something else for that? I could give her an axe I never plan on using. I mean, it's still trading up, so I suppose it's, you know, it's worth it. Um, these are the same. Why are they not cute? Why aren't they together? Anyway, let's give you one of those. 0.6, you're not going to give me any money for that, are you? No. That's okay. Uh, unless you want military access, is that worth more? No, it's definitely not. Okay, so let's do non-aggression pact for this then. Let's see. Yeah, we're trading up. I mean, we're, we're getting something out of it at least. How much would you give me for this though? Because if you were going to give me a bunch of money instead. 450 for... Nah, it's not worth it. I'll take the item. Thanks. Accept my offer. Oh, that's very kind of you. That's very mighty kind of you. Han Sui, we could sign some uh, non aggression Wait. with. You've surely got some money, right? Wait, hold on. You have no money. I can't even request money. What the? What are you doing, man? What's wrong with you? Uh, you got any ancillaries then? Because otherwise, I'm afraid this isn't going to work for me. Uh, oh, yeah, you want a coalition. Wow. That's so sad that you want a coalition with me across, literally across the, on the other side of the world. Um, then we have if Zhang Yan. I guess, you know, nope, not happening. I only want anything that I can get some, you know, money for or something. Guanji, who the hell are you even at, dude? Or where are you at and who are you? You're over there. Okay. That's not worth anything. Then you're some other random elsewhere in the world. You're over here. That's fairly close, but not close enough for me to really worry about it. But no, I'm not going to get anything. All right. So never mind all that. Obviously don't want Wang Long if I'm going to be attacking him soon. Um... I don't want to become a vassal, I don't know why I'm even looking at that. You can only make a coalition with Hansui. Like, maybe Gong Xinzan or Duchy of Zhang would be... Honestly, if I could get one with uh, Liu Bia, I probably would take it, but I can't. Because I'm pretty sure he's already in a coalition. Let's find out, actually. Uh, so, Tsao Tsai yeah, Tsa is with Liu Bia, right? Can I join you? Uh, oof, they're both only barely on the edge of no. I could That could quite easily become a yes. But for now, it's a big old nope. Right. Got ourselves a new uh, glaive as well. Good shit. Right, well, in that case, I think we're once again good to go. So let's continue. Can you play shoot? You can play as Liu Bei, yes. Are people being introduced to Free Kingdoms right now? Oh, God, my neck. People from Bannerlord coming over. What's this skin? What's this game then even? Uh, no, sorry mate, you're gonna be dying soon, I'm afraid. I should consider attacking that, perhaps. Ooh, what's this? Grandmasters. Tsao signed a peace treaty with Lubu. Eliza Lubu declared war on Hansui. Aw, Dutch of Song requested Matong to join their war. Uh, irrelevant. Zhang Ba a war alongside. Legacy of Wu, we got another one. Have a character of 160 more instinct or expertise. One of those we just gained. Okay. I'm assuming that gave us some more stuff as well. Don't care who you are. Friendly, energetic, and 
creative. Holy shit, I'm guessing Soon Se is the one who gained uh, 160 plus. Because I, I seem to roll... Yeah, he was quite close and he just gained plus 8 from that uh, energetic one. No, he gained 6. So I, don't, I don't know, maybe it wasn't him then. Because he would have been on 161 already. I don't know. Oh, maybe Friendly gave as well. Hold on. Yes, plus 2 instinct from that. Well, there you go. Uh, okay, cool. Then... Get rid of all this nonsense, and we built a building. How about that? Right, I think we just upgrade this for now. I could upgrade the town here too, but let's not go too crazy on building towns up too much right now. So you're still on your way, huh? I really should jump in the water, because I'm pretty sure I get more movement from that. I can't actually jump in. Whatever. We're almost home anyway. We are trespassing, actually, so I might want to not... I might actually want to jump in the water for that reason. Um... Okay, so how is this siege going here? Because they've obviously been taking Trisha now. The walls are probably somewhat busted too. I can make it a night battle. Demanding surrender won't do anything. Um, our army here does have Tai Chi Chi, who does have Hail of Arrows. So that's good, but it only, of course, is limited to four uses now. We do have a trebuchet, so we can blow up walls, so that's not really a problem. It wouldn't be a very clean victory, but it would speed things up a little bit. And... That's in itself also worth doing. So I think we are going to do this one now, but let's just uh, give it a second. Let me do everything else first. Uh, we have now once again crossed over. We are on uh, 101, yes. Yeah, so because we've been positive, we're actually now legitimately positive there. Right, so the Grandmaster of Wufing. Actually, never really thought about this. We can do it like that. So yeah, we gain plus five reckless luck from that. Cool. I wonder, does it still say... No, okay, it doesn't say stay searched. That's good. Also, we got Liu Bei right here with Guan Yu and fucking Zhang Liao for some reason. And then uh, Zhang Fei is just sitting by himself over there. Okay. Right, well, um, are you getting less... Oh god, yeah, you're dropping real quick on the old happiness meter. Let's give you a pig or a dog. Here's a dog. You can have that for a little bit. Just hold on to that. She's like, oh, how very kind. I guess I could actually put her in an assignment somewhere, just to have her do something, which will get rid of her um, feeling pointless thing. You're making any money from peasantry? 25. That's not really worth doing that. Can you do anything else, actually? Uh, wait, hold on. Oh, we already have someone doing that exact thing, so I'm guessing we can't, since it doesn't tell me the other options. God damn it. Do I keep checking the same fucking province? Okay, check this one. Uh, yeah, there she is. She can only do peasantry income, but it still at least gives her, uh, removes her lack of purpose, which is something. So, yeah, I guess we'll put you in here. Although, are we going to get more money from there? I don't think we are. Let's just put her in here. This is fine. Alright. So, let's do this battle. It's going to be a tough one. I'm not going to be very clean, but that's okay. The man surrender doesn't do anything, because they've only got one town. Alright. Why not marry her to Sunsa? I could do that, but I think last time we were kind of debating what to do with that, because technically he, in the story, has two wives, right? He has that, the two sisters, the Da, da sisters, Da Chiao or whatever. Um, or, or was he married to one of them and then one of them was married to da, to Zhu Yu or something? I can't remember exactly, but it was something like that. But on the other hand, we also kind of want to marry her to, or him to uh, Zhang Zhang. But maybe we're going to marry Zhang Zhang to uh, Sun Chuan instead. Either way, we already have a busted wall here and a broken tower. And that's also broken, so we can pretty safely attack here. There's a tower there still, but it's not too big a deal. Anything else going on in terms of broken shit? I also didn't check if they had any siege engines to protect themselves with. I certainly should have checked that beforehand. Oopsie daisy. Uh, no fire arrows here, but we do have this, so we could technically blow up a tower, but I think I'm not going to care too much. Let's put you there. Actually, let me keep the archers nearby in case they do have something to put up there, because I, yeah, I really should have checked beforehand. Uh, they fixed the, the thing that you can bring a tower with a single character, didn't they? Yeah, they changed that in a thing. I, I love that. It was so good, but yeah, they've, they've changed that, unfortunately. You can go back up there, probably bring it over. Although there's not really any reason, although that, yeah, I guess for that tower we can protect ourselves from. Cavalry, make your way over here. These two dudes who are not going to do anything. And the boys. Alright. So yeah, the goal is just going to be to blow up the walls. Hopefully they don't have any siege stuff. 
they don't. Alright, well in that case, since we already have walls blown up as well actually, I think I might just do a whole bunch of damage in there first. Three kills. It's a shame how they got nerfed so much. Used to be so strong. Now, weak. Uh, we could also run what's his face in uh, Taishi Chi to start doing some hail of arrows. Some pretty good targets. Uh, let's actually stop that. Let's blow up some more walls. I think. Let's do that one right there, because there's some people on it. With some luck, we can just kill a bunch of those. How much ammo have you got? 64% remaining, not a whole lot. Alright, six more hits on that. Four more hits on that. It's probably not going to happen in a single volley. We'll be very lucky if it does. Otherwise, they're going to start moving away. Nope, two more. One more hit. They didn't move away, though, so there, there's going to be a whole bunch of death right there from doing this. So that'll be good at least. Alright. Um, what do we do with the rest of this? There's no point in trying to really blow any more holes on walls because there's plenty of those. I think we just fire, just do, some, just try and do a little bit more damage here. There's not really a whole lot I can do to be honest. Thing I wait. The most the thing I wait the most in the wedding Sun Tzu with Da Chiao and Zhu Yu with Xiao Chiao. Xiao Chiao. Alright, almost out of ammo. I guess I could have run my archers up too, because we're safe up to there. If we put them like right here, we're safe. Yeah. I can move a little bit further. Kind of, but we'll see, because we might be running into their range as well. You still have ammo? There we go. Alright, ended up with 139 kills. Could have been worse, could have been better. Uh, let's get you back here. Let's get you up. Start doing some Hail of Arrows. Try and just make our way through all this stuff. Get into a position where we can shoot from. Archers are basically in range already, so... We might get shot back at, to be honest. That's okay. That's okay. Alright, ignore this spear unit. Don't want to get dismounted, that'd be very bad. Run straight through those things, because we don't care. Alright, let's get ourselves into a decent position to do some halo arrows from. Like, uh, some good units to hit right there. So I'm very tempted just to shoot straight up in there from here. We should shoot, shoot through several units as well, if we can get these all off. There we go. Yes, yes! Very good. Okay, we are shooting them. I believe we're being shot at as well, but that's okay. A couple of subs as well since I started streaming. We have uh, Mini Bomb 74 and Broken Gamer. Thank you guys for subbing. Welcome to the channel. Alright, we'll just get you in. Actually, let's get you in as well now. Should have brought him in right away. God, it's, it's so weird being back at this game again. It's, it feels like, I, it's, like I've never played this before. It, it doesn't feel natural anymore. It's weird. Ah, victory grows ever closer. Or I'll, I'll not fucking forget those quotes anymore, though, I'll tell you that. I'll tell you what. Oh, yeah, I also forgot these guys have, like, stupendous amounts of ammunition, so that's good. Alright, a couple seconds before we have another Hail of Arrows available. Cat coming towards us. Not a big fan of that, though. Quite, quite, quite. Yeah, that's gonna really be uh, kind of painful, actually. Ignore that unit. Don't get dismounted. Oh, they're running away. Let him be. Let him be. Let him be. Alright. Get over here. Damn, they're coming again. Okay, fucking charge him again then. I'm hoping I can do some more Hail of Arrows. Also, how the hell is that burning over there? Who the fuck did that? They must have done that themselves. <laughs> the fuck? Alright. Hail of Arrows. Let's do it. I see uh, a juicy couple of targets right there. Another sub, uh, Champreet Singe. Welcome to the channel. Oh boy. Okay, that was not the way I wanted that to happen, but it's okay. 
Shinofu. Shinofu. Alright, I need you to get into a couple of units and do a cheeky one of these uh, Flames of the Phoenix, please. Very cheeky. Don't get dismounted by them, actually. Charge them from the side. Get in there. Quick, 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 quick. Do it. And... See ya. Alright, attack them. Where are you at? You're over here killing some calf. That's okay. Archer's still on, like, half ammo. 45%. That's good shit. There's a fucking archer out here. What the hell, dude? Getting murdered over here. It's a random archer. Came back from routing, I'm guessing, from outside. Very cheeky. Okay. Generals can solo an army, yeah. If you use them well. I mean, in sieges they can. When you're doing field battles, it's not as easy. But in sieges, you just, you know, you wound a couple of units, you support them with some arrows, and you just fucking murder an entire army. Hey, everyone. Get in here. Quick, quick, quick. Oh, he, he loves doing it real quick. That's actually really nice. Alright, there's still a couple uh, actual name characters back there, though. I'll take care of those soon. This guy's tired as heck. Seems like the actor slash game where you control a character and mop the floor of an army. I can't remember its name. Dynasty Warriors. Oh god, you guys are just running into tower now. That's not good. Go inside. Get inside! Should get over here. Right, you guys stay there. Although... Let's get you over here as well. Kill this unit here. Flee. Please. Fleece? Do you have any tips for use? Waisugi Legendary Star. Watch my let's play and do what I do. God, it's it's been a long time since long time since I played that specifically. Um, like I, it's been a long time since I played Shogun too, but I mean like Waisugi has been even longer than that. Uh, any specific? I can't even fucking remember. Like the the problem with them is that they they're obviously very isolated, so they're and and it takes an army like several turns to get across their province. So. You need to be really careful. There we go. Rather than let's go back over here, that you don't find yourself away from your home province unprotected. Oh, one of the generals is routed. <sighs> Must be a coward. Um, you need to be careful that you're not too far away from your home province uh, and that you can't get back to it when an army is coming towards its the town. Basically, like the star is just the, the toughest. You also definitely want to expand towards. Um, Towards Fukushima and not towards uh, God, I can't remember the name of the province, but where the Jimbo are. You don't want to expand towards the Jimbo, even though you are at war with them at the start. You just be out with them immediately. Let's fucking nuke this general out of existence here. Um, and you want to have Sado, but pretty early on as well. Oh, this is gonna be juicy right here. The juice. And you're gone. Oh my god, one shot. <laughs> Did not expect that. I thought it was going to be two, but... Alright. Uh, Alright, I should get out of here. Try to defeat the Sheena and I'll die from Takeda. Yeah, basically. You don't want to go toward like towards the, the west. You want to go east. But either way, just what... Like, it's not... It, people always ask me, and I, gave this, I always give the same answer. Like, just watch my Let's Play. I know it's like, you know, you want some quick tips. Uh, well, actually, watch my clan overview. I totally forgot I did those. Some of my most popular videos on the channel. Watch my clan overview on the Waisugi. That'll give you a bunch of beginning tips. Basically, it just tells you everything you need to know at the beginning. Uh, let's release her. Alright. There we go. So now we have two more Zhang boys. Zhang Hong and Zhang Zhao. And we also get uh, replenishment and bonus experience. Okay. Noise, the end of Wang Lang. Capture if alive you fought oh man, another fucking named character. I didn't realize there was gonna be more of those. Okay, well Tao Qian helped installed helped installed Wang Lang as administrator of Kuaji Commandery, and above all Wang Lang cannot be trusted. By seizing his capital, the commander of Kuaji, breadbasket of the realm, will fall swiftly into your hands. It's kinda of funny. Because I feel like in the two campaigns I've played so far, Wang Lang always loves me. So maybe he's untrustworthy or something, but he always seems to be like my biggest friend in these campaigns in this in this new uh, DLC. New. Anyway, yeah, we got uh, Jian Yu capital, and we destroyed a faction in the process. So that's uh, this one here. 
Uh, so we get plus five resources from that, and reckless luck from that as well. So yeah, we're still in four turns. Sweet. And then we got some new people that we can have join. And there's Zhang Zhao that now joined us. We'll have a look at him in a second. Don't want any of those people. Get the fuck out of my face. All right, Zhang Brothers. Let's have a look at you. This guy... Uh, they're both... Fuck me, they're both strategies. Actually, that's not bad. We only had one strategies before them. Okay, so they have a special ability as well, right? To do with their... Yeah, the two Zhangs. Um, this is established fact to friends, but never to foes, that two Zhangs are better than one. Okay, so I'm assuming if they are in the same army to get... Oh, God, that's horrible. You don't want two fucking strategies in one army. That's terrible. With... The, with yeah, they're both strategists. With them, it's not as bad, because they that's a commander and a strategist. That makes sense to put them together. But two strategists are just fucking disgusting. But oh well, I might still do it anyway. Good for go there ability, but it's cool. Oh, he came with a nice iron snake as well. Very cool. I'll take that away from you. Give that to Tai Chi Chi or even to Cheng Pe. Pe! Uh, yeah, it's on cooldown. That's, that needs to be fixed. That it, cause there should It should just be on cooldown immediately. Um, like the actual icon, there should be a little one next to it. Like if I quit out of here and then go back into that, you'll see it's down here with that little one next to it saying it's on cooldown. It's, it's, it's a visual bug. Although you used to be able to just like, if you stayed in this menu, you used to be able to switch items like that in the same turn. But anyway, he's loyal, that's good. Uh, friendly, so yeah, he's a, he's he's missing on um, uh, Wisdom River is all the way over here. It's a bit of a shame. Makes him a lot worse. I'm guessing the same goes for you. Yeah. That sucks. Um, but oh well. 30% ammunition. It doesn't say it's for the army though. Is it just for him? That would be terrible. The fuck's the point of that? Anyway. Um, they're also 45 and 48. Ugh, quite old already as well. Well, I mean, they're okay. We'll, 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 if we get a chance to use them, we probably will. We are making a lot of money right now. But 5.5 of that is diplomacy. So actually we're making minus 1,000 per turn right now. So we need to be careful. Taishi Chi got a level up. He's gonna go for... That's good. Uh, and that precision is good as well. That goes to quick fire. This one goes to venomous shot. Venomous shot's pretty sweet. But I do prefer this, I think. Overall, you can also go down here, but... Not as fussed about that. Um, uh, let's go. I mean, yeah, let's go for that one. Fine, because Venomous Shot's better than this one is. Okay. Cool. So that's that. Now we own this town here. Lovely. We already got the right building for that. We probably want this here too. So that's actually fine. I'll repair that. Let that one repair itself. We have the fish trader, that's fine, we'll repair that too, and then we have the lodge. This actually has all the buildings I want here, so I'm actually going to keep it the way it is. Although it doesn't have a um, garrison building, so perhaps I should be building that first before building the magistrate. Um, but it's level 2 already, it feels, feels like a waste to get rid of it now. When's the next? The next building slot would be at level 7 though, so that's two level ups from now. Uh, ugh, feels rough not having a defensive building. Guess I could get rid of the lodge for now. Doesn't do as much as anything else. It's it's level three though. That's such a waste if I were to get rid of that. Uh, fuck it. We'll get rid of this. We have to build that, and I guess I'll build the tax collection first just to get our, our reform uh, done, basically. Okay, let that repair itself. Right. Then we're gonna go off of this army to attack them. We'll do that obviously when we're replenished again. Uh, you're still on your way home, so that's all good. I, again, I could recruit an army, but I don't think it's really worth doing the, that yet. Um, so who am I currently making money off? I'm making a whole bunch from Cao Cao. That's a lot of money. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's actually just Cao Cao and um, Liu Biao, basically, we're making money off of dip diplomacy from. Because that's like two really big numbers that'll add up to that 5.5k that we saw. What's this then? Oh, we're, okay, 344 from him. And 146 from him. Uh, six. Oh god, we're all up. okay. We're getting a lot of money from other people as well, actually. Okay. Well, whatever. We're fine. Okay. So, I think we're good. Uh, still a positive food despite taking that town, but that's only because Zhang Yang, or what's her face, Zhang Zhang is currently doing stuff. Uh, you're level four, so you'd get bonuses from this, but. 
I don't think I need to, because you guys are happy enough in my faction as it is, so I don't need to worry about that right now. Are we still on high? No, we're no longer on high satisfaction though, because we do have quite a few people that are not really that high. Have I given you, no, I haven't given you any plus um, resolve stuff, or sorry, plus uh, authority stuff. There's a horse for you, that should increase it by one or two as well. And then I should really take um, this one away from you, give you something else instead for a second. And then we'll give that one to Sun Chuan next turn. Because then he gets some more authority, which will in turn or turn into more satisfaction faction wide, which is important. Okay. Um, let's end turn. They aren't brothers, they come from the same name but they're different families. Oh, okay. I don't know if Donkey saw that though. Wait, what? Saw what? Having both Zhangs and one army gives some benefits, but I forget what. Yeah, I, I, that's what I looked at. You can have two armies of the Zhang relatives together. Yeah, you... What, you mean like reinforcing each other or something? Like, what do you mean? Oh, he became Marquis. Marquis! Nice. Uh, become Emperor of China. Sure, no problem. Hansui is dead! Wait, did we get to recruit Hansui? Aw. That would have been cool. Um, I, I don't know who the fuck you are, but... You're not actually someone I want, so get the fuck out of my face. We destroyed that. Right, so we're going to build tax collection here. That'll be done exactly in the right time. Definitely want to build that up for more garrison. Those are both fine. Okay. Poifect. Uh, so we became, Mar we became Marquis. Handang, what do you want? Uh, reach, probably. Yeah, if, yeah, that makes total sense. Go for reach, okay. Then we have, uh, yeah, we became Marquis. So we have the director of finance and the court physician available as well now. So what do they do? That one gives income from all sources and minus corruption. That's pretty good. Definitely want to give that to a high level person. In fact, I don't want to move someone over for that. Because that, yeah, that's way better. Um, you're level five. How close are you to level six? Not very. You are basically the same. You're 47 years old. He's four Wow, you guys are very fucking similar, aren't you? <laughs> Jesus, didn't expect that. What are your weapons again? Oh, the White Tiger's Claws, yeah, okay. Right, I'm definitely gonna move one of those over, although I don't remember what we get from this, administrators. Okay, so if I remove this, we actually lose one of the administrators, that would suck a lot. You would lose plus one re starting re rank for all recruits, that's totally fine, so we'll put you in there. What does this do down? General's health, faction-wide, that's pretty cool. And ability recharge rate, faction-wide. That's pretty cool, uh, not a huge deal though, so I definitely don't wanna put a high level person there. You're gonna go in here though, because that's good money. And then I do want someone in there probably, but I'm not too fussed about that right now. So the next best thing, recruitment rank or general's health and ability recharge rate. I don't care too much. I don't really wanna, actually you get 18 happiness from this. You're not loyal or something then I guess. Intimidating, disciplinarian and wise. Okay, so yeah, you don't get any loyalty. Uh, you have, yeah, you're loyal, so you don't get as much happiness from that. Wait, hold on. Which one am I looking at? You. Yeah, you and you're, plot, you're on level one as well, so you're not actually that fussed anyway. Okay, so let's go for this one, I think. Um, and then the next ones either be the spy positions or that general self recharge rate. I actually think this one is better. And I guess since you're quite unhappy, I'll put you in one now, since I, I still have one remaining anyway. So let's do the spy position. Oh, I don't really do spying, do I? Uh, maybe I will though. I did a little bit in the in the last campaign. Okay, and I don't want to put you guys in because that's not doing anything for me right now. I also have, I believe, yeah, 97 shared experience again, so I should definitely try and level up someone. So let's give some to you. I give it all up for you. That'll get him to level five probably. Yep, it did. Which will in turn, uh, both of those are good, but I'll go for that one. Which will then give me better bonuses. They'll give me plus uh, the plus one, um, Level up thing again, plus one experience, starting rank for all recruits. So that's worked out, didn't lose anything. It, which means I could have put him in the other role, but whatever. Okay, uh, you are finally coming home. Coming home, coming home. Let's try, yeah, let's not trespass through the yellow turbines lance. Let's go for C. Although I could just sail somewhere. Uh, you know what, yeah, because we're not really, I don't know what my plan is. I should have done this right away. 
but I guess I didn't lose too much. We're just gonna go here, probably he head down this way, and because we're gonna be under war with Wang Lang, who owns three towns over here as well now. Pretty sure he may even own something down this way. No, he doesn't. So yeah, three towns there and three towns there. So we need to attack him from both sides. You are basically fully replenished. So if I go here, really, that's faster than going that way. You've got to be joking. Uh, wow, you can move here in a single turn. Is that a normal movement? What the fuck? How does that even work? Impressive, my guy. Even leaves with 1% movement left over. But I don't want to move into enemy territory because I want to replenish. Although it's only Tai Chi Chi, but I also don't want to trespass. So yeah. Um, so yeah, just, just, just go here. Keep your 1% movement. And I should be able to reach that next turn. Without any any issue whatsoever. That's incredible movement. My goodness. Okay. So. Uh, that's two more characters we got available now. Fucking great. So yeah, what did people say then about you can put them together, but not they don't need to be in the same army. Have to be able to battlefield at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, but that's... I mean... I guess... I could have an army, a full army with one of the Zhangs, and then another Zhang just kind of lingering behind. But that would also in turn mean that um, if an enemy has night battles, they can just, they can just pick them off. And I'm not going to have two full armies together, because that's fucking overkill. So I probably will put it together. It's okay. We'll just use a different kind of setup. Just go for heavy range units or something. We could do what we did with the... Um, the Chong campaign where we just went with an entire crossbow army, but I think I'm not going to. Just put them together with like Tai Chi Chi or something. It actually wouldn't even be that terrible of an idea. Anyway, I can't build anything. Uh, we have spies we can do now. I guess that might be worth looking at. So we can either use Zhang Zhao or Xiao Sh Xiao Xiao. I think we're going to use Zhang Zhao instead. Um, so although he was available for recruitment, and never no one ever picked him up. So I'm pretty sure no one's going to pick him up now either. But that's okay. You can also do this uh, potential turncoat stuff. You're really fucking unhappy, aren't you? Holy shit. So where would I even want to spy? Um, Wang Long, maybe? No, I don't think that's really necessary. I guess Duchy of Zhang, since... Yeah, that's our former... Like, vassal leader. Whatever you want to call that. Our vassal master. So we'll deploy there. We could use another one. We could use her as well, but I don't think I will. All right. Be on your way, Xiang Hong. You're gonna get this. Uh, no, sorry. You are gonna get this thing now, and then you are gonna get that because you already have insane expertise, which makes you even better. Even better. Because I don't want to use Tai Chi Chi because he's not a very good jeweler. This guy is pretty shit as well, if I remember correctly, but. Let's just give him, like, stupendous 83% melee evasion. He, he ought to be decent at the very least, right? Especially with these weapons as well. How can he not be good? I mean, that would that'd be ridiculous if this guy's still not good. Uh, other than that, has anyone got a horse? Why no one can get a horse? Have a horse. Because the only thing I have... Yeah, that's, yeah, that's the problem. They're green and yellow. Fucking yellow horses. Alright, don't want a court physician right now. Right, uh, it would have been nice if a core position gave us like replenishment over time or something. Maybe it does the higher levels, but I doubt it. Anyway, I do believe that is that once more. We've moved you, we've moved you. We have no diplomacy to do. But there's more stuff here now. What's, am I missing something? I can create a vassal. Kung Sun Du, Shi Yi, and Shi Wu, and Guan Ji. How much? 25, not even that crazy, but Gungs and Du all the way up there, minus 50, yeah, it's not gonna happen, oh, no, I don't want to become a vessel, I don't care enough anyway to check right now, no one can join my coalition anymore, because Hansui is dead, and he was the only person who wanted to, I guess I'll once again check, um, I think that's worth keeping an eye on, at least, if I can join these guys, let me in, 2.7, 3.6, I'm pretty sure it's better than it was before, so, Maybe we'll get there eventually, but we'll see. Oh shit, my chat's stuck. I just noticed. <sighs> Total war. Peepo arrived. That was Peepo arrived. Is that a, a meme?
Where the fuck do you? Oh, you're this guy over here. No. Got my face. Get the heck out of my face. Ooh, another thing. Governor of the Scholars. Uh, Vassal joined the war. Spy dispatched. Good luck. Have two rank five or higher strategists. Okay, I need two rank five or higher or commanders. Can I do that? I don't think I can. We have Sun Chuan and Da Xiao that are like relatively close. Should be possible. We get two available ministry. Oh, that's actually a pretty decent reward. It's not, you know, what we need for the Legacy of Wu stuff, but still. Or the, I mean, the, what is this called? Reckless Luck. Speaking of, we still got free turns. Okay, we're, we're doing all right. Who the hell are you? That's an incredible name. Imp impressive naming right there. We lost trade with Gongsun Du. Is it because he is dead? A red furrow bread. Furrow bread. We've already got two of them. God damn it. I'm getting the horses I don't need. Uh, okay. We lost trade. What's the. Okay, they're not dead. It's just not available anymore. With Gongsun Du, was that? Okay. Gongsun Du. I don't know if you're going to take back a province to be able to trade with me again, but I very much doubt it, so I'm going to lose this trade right now. Oi. I'm so sorry. That's uh, a poor decision indeed. Who wants to trade with me? Hua Xin. Lu Bu, that'd be a good one, because I'm not planning on attacking Lu Bu anytime soon. Duchy of Song, oh, I'm, I'm planning on attacking him soon, so that one wouldn't be a good idea. Which one's actually the most one? It actually is Duchy of Song. No, Hua Xin actually gives me more, but that's kind of where I want to, in fact, it's fucking bordering me. This is the guy, this faction I actually took out before, they were down to, you know, n having no land. Just a small army, and they somehow took a province, and now they're okay again. Uh, but we'll have a look at that in a second. Then there's Hu Mao and Shi Wu. Shi Wu is too close as well. Hu Mao, I don't know where the fuck this guy is at. So I guess we could trade with him. I don't think I want to trade with him. He's just too close to me. He is a vassal, I believe, of Duchy of Song, but still. Lu Bu would be good, except this one's like the worst one in terms of how much money I get for it. So I think it's actually you somehow. How do we get to this point? You actually want to pay me for it as well. That's impressive. Um, well, it's not a whole lot of money. Okay, so we can get about 90 bucks from him. Uh, yeah, it's never gonna happen. Okay, what else have we got though? Our option would be Lubu. If, he, if he's willing to pay me like a ton of money. <coughs> voice. If he's willing to pay me a ton of money for this, which he's not, then we have... Um, don't want him and I don't want Huashi and I don't want... Yeah, so it's gotta be, it's gotta be this guy for us. 80 extra bucks. Wow. Very keen. 89. Wow, man. That's fucking great. You want to be my vassal? If you want to be my vassal, you got to get with my friends. You want to be my coalition? No. Man, you have no idea how strong I am. Alright. Speaking of Total War memes, I really want to see a meme... Someone opening a bunch of notifications like Cao Cao and Yuan Shao create a coalition, Li Bei join the coalition. Memus. Uh, I see everyone's doing good amidst the crisis. Yeah, good, it's good. good thing people are doing okay. Right. What else have we got? Uh, I'll once again check the coalition just to kind of see if it's getting better or not. Where are you at, Li Biao? Let me in, let me in. That one's getting worse, that one's getting better. I'm pretty sure if I can get one of them, it might still be a yes, right? I'm not actually sure about that. So right, you are just a singular faction, are you not? Yes, you have no allies, just trading with Wang Lang. Uh, okay, well, I'm so sorry, but you have to die now. It is the way of the world, I'm afraid. And we got in incredible movement. I guess because we're up again to that higher level, but still. He dislikes me attacking. Wow. Wow. Okay. Uh, this is one of those annoying maps, isn't it? Yeah. I think I'll still fight it, although this army doesn't have flaming arrows, which is incredibly annoying. Um, but I think I'll still do it, but we'll, we'll have a look at that in a second. When are you getting flaming arrows? You got flaming shots, but flaming arrows are still level two level-ups away. I do wonder. I wonder. If we share expertise with him. I kind of want to share expertise with my...
commanders, but I'm not, I guess I'm not that fussed about it. He might level up twice from that. It's not like Flaming Arrows would be like an insane help or something, but it would definitely help a little bit. He's Because he's really close to level 4. I don't know how much experience it gives, but I suppose it's worth a try. We, we take we put off the com like leveling up commanders by an extra couple turns, whatever. What am I doing? Here you go. Grand independence, what the fuck? Oh, Sheriff choose this man now. Take this fiend. He is level four. Oh, I didn't quite make it. Yeah, not even close actually. Okay, so that's fine. Right, we're still gonna go this way. So no fire arrows, but at least this Ranged armor piercing damage and raised firing weight. Well, actually, not not the firing weight because he's not commanding, but the it's okay. He's a little bit better. Um, right, we'll still do that battle. We'll do that in a second. You, my man, are gonna come swimming down this way, and so Wang Long is down here, there, and then there. Okay, so yeah, we're just gonna go a little bit further. Just get on land there, and that's fine. I want to do it this turn. Okay, now you're going to sprint down here as fast as your horse will carry you. Okay, Han Dang is unhappy now. You little bitch, what the fuck's wrong with you? Is it because you leveled up recently? Um, I guess I could give... No, you already have... Wait, hold on. You're my fucking chancellor. Dude, why are you so fucking unhappy, man? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? General discontent, rivalry with faction leader. Oh. Okay, apparently we have a rivalry going on. Um, another rivalry of infection and rivalries of passerby. Holy shit, this guy is just fucking like rival of everyone. What is going on? How how is that even? If I've never even really seen that before, and this guy is just fucking everyone's like, you want to fucking go? I'll beat your ass. He's just angry at everyone. Hey, you. What's your name? Hi, I'm uh, Frank. You're my rival now, Frank. We shall fight one day, I swear. By the old gods and the new. Anyway. Oh, I totally forgot to replace them. No, I didn't, because we were not high enough level yet. yet. I keep fucking remembering. Okay, if I siege them out, they will probably not sally out. So I think we're just going to have to fight this one. Painful as it is. There's a lot of range in this there. No anti-cab whatsoever. So that's something, I guess. Yeah, let's just do it. Let's do it. I prefer Warhammer 3. Troy is not that amazing. How do you know? How do you know Troy is not amazing? We, we, we know like almost zero about the game. Almost nothing. Any game that has historical significance like maybe something to do with Alexander the Great. Oh, we're asking, we're talking about what we want for future Total War games. The first person to say fucking World War 2 is going to get a slap. A virtual slap. Uh, okay, so we are gonna attack from a place where there's not too many towers, so I think that'll be this one right here. Yeah, those can't reach and those won't reach. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Let's get you up as close as possible. I think we'll be able to nuke those towers down as well. The only problem really we have here is the amount of range units they have. Pardon me. Kill Lubu or just run away from him. We'll kill him. Uh, let's get you off fire will. They might even sally forth, but I very much doubt it. Oh, that's a lovely fucking group of men to murder right there. I gotta do a couple of volleys of them. That's way too much not to do. Oh. Fortunately, because of the nerfs that this thing has gone through, even an incredibly good volley like that only kills like 27 dudes. Very sad. Very sad indeed. Also, it's only level 3, so we're not too accurate yet, which kind of sucks because we're not, not going to have a good time trying to destroy the towers. Are you shooting today, or what? Hello? Oh, what the fuck? Wait, did you move forward? Actually, almost in range of the tower. We're almost taking damage. You're not even doing anything. You're missing all your shots. I guess they're, they're kind of on a downhill slope. That doesn't help, but still. What is this firing grade? What is going on? This is new. 
There we go. Oh! Every fucking shot is getting blocked by the trees, that's what's going on. What the? Okay, try and shoot the towers then. I don't know if that's gonna help, we're still in the same fucking angle. Maybe we should have gone further back. Oh, one went through, what the hell? Okay, let's move you back over here. That's gonna take way too long, no, let's not do that. That's a dumb, dumb idea. These trees though, I've never seen a couple of trees block that many fucking trebuchet shots. We've barely done anything so far. Okay, try and shoot at this tower, please. Just don't hit the fucking trees. I know you're gonna hit the trees, but just try not to. I guess maybe I should wait for the trees to be burned, like... I don't know if that even helps or not. What are you doing? What is this movement, man? God. Terrible battle so far. I really would have liked to destroy the towers, but... Or even killed a little bit, you know, a few more men. One shot got through again and didn't even get close. Oh man, this is horrible. These trees are like the worst. Never seen that before. Two shots got through that time, but once again, completely missed the target. Fine, don't shoot the towers. Try and do some more damage against those units. Weaken them a little bit. 69 kills. Straight up. Okay, that was a good hit right there. Tactical trees, yeah, man. I've never seen that before. I've never seen... Trees block so many shots. I don't know if there was a patch recently or something that I missed that say trees now block trebuchet shots 50% more effectively. I don't know, but uh, this was uh, unexpected, I'll, I'll tell you. There we go. Alright, well, he ended up killing 151 men. Imagine if I had just kept shooting at those, it would have just done so much better. But anyway, uh, let's get you up first. Let's just do a bunch of. And we'll get you in there as well, actually. There's no anti cap so we can just charge you in. We're gonna take some damage from the towers now, but... That's okay. Ah, comrade is under attack. Okay, just fucking blow a hole in that unit, please. Should've tried to shoot the generals, actually. Okay, let's get you in here as well. Okay, you're here. Oh no, this fucking dickhead's reducing our cooldown. Increasing our cooldown, actually, technically. Actually, it might be one of the other ones, I have no idea. Uh, you know what? We're gonna take a stupid amount of damage anyway. Let's move you guys up so I can actually shoot. Try and stay away from the actual thing, though. Okay, messing up that general, at least. That's good. I don't know if he's the one that's increasing our cooldowns or not, but... Okay, well, he's gone. It was the other one. Or, no, it was the guy we actually hit. There we go. Good damage. Okay, you, yeah, you're still on cooldown because of that as well. Okay, we're taking the towers almost. You guys are not in range yet. There's still too much fire that I can't really move up any closer. It's annoying. Okay, we routed him as well. Kill the next one then, while we're here. Another one of these big boys. You're almost done with that now. Let's get you away from there for a second. Okay. Do some volleying in there. Okay, one of the ca one of the generals actually dead. I'm just gonna wipe out the whole fucking garrison with just two two dudes again. Fire still raging. Jesus Christ! I'll never be able to get rid of. Okay, let's just run past it. We're actually not taking any damage from the towers either because of this. This they're on like a hill as well. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Let's get my infantry inside too. Fuck it. Time to do some damage. Let's get all the cat. Fuck it. Let's get everyone in here, dude. I don't care anymore. Get in there. You have another ability to do. There's more murdering to do. I hate it when he turns around. Wastes so much potential damage. Okay. Right, we're firing. Good, good. Kind of. I mean, it's good, but it's kind of firing, is what I mean. Just keep going in there. Further into the lines, then. Get in here. Morale's low, that's good. Night battle certainly helping. Do another one of those. Right in the middle of all those troops. Come on, do it. There we go. Okay, cavalry here. Getting absolutely fucking murdered already. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Let's get you around this way. You should just get out of here and do your ability, but... This is going to be a painful battle, I'm afraid. It's got the archers inside. Some of them weren't even firing yet, actually. Yeah, I take a decent amount of damage here, but it's okay. Okay, is this an archer unit? 
it is actually an archer captain. Alright, let's just give him a volley, make sure they don't come back. Alright, infantry has arrived, kind of. Let's get him in there. Just just attack random shits, basically. Okay, get over into that back of that unit there. Get back in there. You got another ability. There's a big unit that wants to die. Let's go uh, give them what they want. That could have been better, but there you go, routed them anyway. Good shit. Mass route. We done it. Uh, there's one unit right there. Go away. And well, that one came back from riding as well. Actually, almost took this. Someone go grab that, and that'll give us more morale, and they'll lose some morale, and then we're winning. Alright, well, that was okay, actually. Didn't lose as much as I thought I might. When the cavalry started getting shot, I was a little bit afraid, but... At first, I was afraid. I was petrified. Is that it? Someone else coming back from routing again? Uh, yes, there's a fucking archer over here that's coming back from routing. You stupid fucks, can you stop? Just route. Just give it Just give it a mass route. A cheeky mass route, please. They're on zero morale. They ought to route any second now. But as you know, over there now, that's stopped routing, for fuck's sake. Oh, and there's one over here as well. Oh my goodness. Please just go away. It's clearly over. You've given up, alright? That unit's just come back from routing as well, for fuck's sake. We're never going to be done with this, are we? Um... Okay, rather them again. Let's keep chasing them. Make sure to take the towers on the way. Okay, get in there. And then... They're gone again. There we go! Alright. Finally. There was oil there. Okay. Both Trebs and Calf got nerfed hard. Trebs have been nerfed so many times though. Like the side of shock have that so many unit seconds. Yeah, cavalry is still stu stupidly strong even after nerfs. But uh What the fuck? Undiscovered traits. Oh, this was the guy who was super pissed off and I could have he was a turncoat, I'm pretty sure, potential turncoat. But apparently he doesn't he's he was a potential turncoat, if it was him, which I'm pretty sure it was, but somehow his honor is too precious to <laughs> to fight alongside one of such a low character. Okay. You have a stone archer, uh, I don't really care. Alright, see you later. There we go. Secure the base resources. That's another plus two per turn. So now we're on minus one technically, but plus four because we still have some other bonuses as well. So yeah. Even if we were to go... Even if we don't gain anything more from now on, it would take 105 turns before he dies, at which point we'll probably have finished the campaign already. So he's still totally, uh, he's still totally safe now. But not technically. Technically, eventually he would still die. But he would die of old age at some point as well, so... 50% income from industry, not bad. That's definitely increased our income some. We're actually positive now, even with 5.1k diplomacy. If that goes away, we're still positive. Destroy another faction. Good chisel. Uh, secured commandery. Killed some dudes in battle. They had it coming. And we got another battle axe. Weapons for fucking days. Alright, so you're going to be fully replenished again after a turn, and I think it's uh, time we start preparing for that war against Wang Long. We'll definitely move over to the border first, because we need to get uh, what's-his-face in position as well. Someone's unhappy again. You stupid fuck. Actually, it was Han Dang. We already knew that. You already have a stone pig as well. Oh, boy. Well, there's very little else I can do about that, I'm afraid. Uh, yeah, I've got nothing else I can give you. I mean, worst-case scenario, we can, we can always remove him, because we have Sun Chuan... Zhu Tai and Da Xiao as other cavalry commanders, so he's not, you know, he's not very high up in the list of people who are going to get a job soon. But uh, still, I've, ha I've, I've hold held on to him for this long. I want to make sure I actually recruit him or use him at some point. Although he might die of old age before that even happens. Again, he's quite far down the list. Anyway. Uh, we got core position available, I know. Still can't really get any positive... Yeah, there's no need. I'm just waiting until I, you know, if I can recruit some crazy character who needs a lot of happiness, like Lubu or whatever, although I very much doubt Lubu is going to die anytime soon. But, you know, anyone like that, I want to be able to make, give them a core position so that they become a happy, happy camper. Uh, right, so yet another war completed. Once again, don't think there's anything here, really, but I should keep an eye out anyway. Right. 
end turn. Oh, Ryan, this is a level free salt mine. Perfect. We need to actually get a reform to upgrade that, but it's not something I'm really planning on upgrading anyway. We could put Lu Meng in here. Actually, we could put Lu Meng in. We need to put Lu Meng in somewhere anyway. But I was going to say we could put Sun Chuan in here for income from industry, which would be pretty good here. 900 bucks from industry right now. Um, but I actually do want to put Lu Meng in somewhere. So I think we're going to go ahead and do that. But, but where? Where might we put him? Oh, we got 1 million stuff here, or people here, so we can actually build another building. Uh, yeah, fucking, let's go on, let's do it. Why not? We got the money. The food is a bit more problematic, but it's okay. Uh, what else we got? So I guess I could put him in here and then upgrade this uh, later. Need to get this at some point, too. Also, I need to get this one quite desperately. Man, there's a lot of fucking shit I need to get. Because that's that's a lot of money. And then, because we already got that one, we can actually... If we get this one, which we can get right away, we can actually get level 5 um, copper mines, which will increase our income like crazy. But it, because of corruption reduction. But we don't need to do that just yet, because it's still pretty early on. We, don't need, we only have like 13%, 8% here, but 13% in other place corruption. So it's not a big deal yet. Um... Okay, so what, what are we currently doing in terms of building? Because I don't have a lot of stuff I can build here. Nothing at all, in fact, except for the town, but I don't want to do that. Um, there's not really much I can do here in terms of building, so where would I put that guy? I guess it would make the most sense to put him in that place where he just upgraded a town, this one. We put him in here, and then we can upgrade that. And then we can probably upgrade this one again one time as well, can't we? Yes, so that yeah, that'll get me some bonus out of it at least. So we're not gonna build this right now, we'll build it next turn, because it's gonna go down one turn anyway. Sweet. Is Mandative having a broken DLC right now? What fervor doesn't seem to reduce even with buildings. Uh it worked fine in my I know with fervor reducing buildings don't apply. Are you using any mods? Because it worked fine in my campaigns. If I build fervor reducing buildings, it actually reduced the fervor. Like it's a, it's it's a what do you call that? It's a balancing thing, right? So it's not like if you build a minus five fervor building, it immediately goes down to minus five per turn. Because there's also factors working negatively. So it, there might be you know minus twelve already. So you need at least twelve positive, like redu reducing fervor, to equal it out and then you need more on top of that to actually start reducing it and then the more it gets reduced the better it becomes in other provinces as well because there's that neighboring provinces fervor thing that's like the big one once you reduce like one province then it will go down a little bit in other provinces as well or at least you know instead of minus 12 it would be like minus 10 and then you reduce another one and then it's it's kind of like a domino effect it, it, it's a wave that goes across all your provinces once you start removing them but they always need a little bit of extra help on top of that they're never going to just be positive or or negative, I guess, um, by default. So maybe that's uh, that's what you mean. Damn, I'm late. Maybe I should wait for default. Yeah, it's up to you. Uh, okay, enter and right. Yeah, we should enter. We got twenty three k right right now. We could easily build another army now, but again, we are making quite a bit from diplomacy. We we aren't making that much money by ourselves. Stream is laggy. Let me see if there's anything going on on my end. No. Is it? Yeah, it seems actually it's a little bit laggy on my end as well. I think YouTube's having been real issues lately. It just dropped down to 360p for some reason. The fuck. Anyway, yeah, sorry about that. It, YouTube's been re having really. I mean, on this this stream started with the message. Uh, live streaming is currently not available, so I don't know what's going on. Build like three buildings that should reduce it by 18 minus 18 per turn, but they don't count. I don't know, man. I don't know if you're using mods or something. Um, because for me, it worked totally fine, although it has been a while since I played them. But uh, okay, spy events, trying to infiltrate. Shutai got energetic, 
from what sitting on his ass all day. But the rural tax collector, uh, perfect timing, so we can now. Well, do I want to get this first, or do I want to go for the food stuff first? That's the main question I have. I I want to unlock this so I can then build something else there. So I guess we'll do that first, because that means I can then remove the rural tax collector again and build something different. So now that we have you in here, we can build this. Saves a turn. We have a level up for Zhu Yu. It's going to get some judgment. And we're going to keep running down that way. Take a couple of turns still. Really? What the hell? Okay, that, that was different. That was weird. Uh, you are going to move out of here and move to the border of this place. Like, hey! No, no, I'm not threatening you. This is just a friendly visit. It's not one town. Yeah, that shouldn't be too difficult to take. Uh, and then while that's being demolished, I could build something here. There's no one million population here, so I can only build one thing at a time. Which means that if I build this up, I won't be able to build the walls here. So I think we're going to wait for that to be destroyed first. Um, yeah, we could put another spy in, but... Uh, I'm not really that fussed. Or well, not really that fussed. Oh, have you know? Currently watching a 1080. No problem. Okay. Why not 1440p? I guess because you have done a 1440p monitor. <laughs> That'd be a pretty good reason behind it anyway. Uh, right, what do we got? We got the armies moved. Um, we're on six food, but it's still pretty irrelevant. We are making six grand. I... I don't know what I was doing. I guess I could sell... No, I can't really sell food. I don't really want to sell any food anymore. Because we are losing food quite frequently now. It's once again time to check that coalition, I suppose. Oi! Mind if I join? That one's still the same. That one's getting worse and worse. Yet Southside does not seem to be uh, up for this. Me joining that coalition. I think it would be a good thing to be in that coalition for when I do eventually declare war on him. He's actually at war at Sao and Liu Bia. Uh, Liu Bia, no way, where's, where's Sao Tsa? Am I blind? I think I am. Oh, there he is, all the way at the top. We are already having a deal with you for food. 19, oh my god, that's where all my food is. <laughs> I didn't realize. Oh, he's on 42 right now, so he must have increased his food by quite a bit. So I'm pretty sure we're not going to get any money for food from him anymore. But at least that means we have a lot of food again. Which means I don't have to worry too much about food. Um, can I join your coalition, Mr. Cao Cao? Alright, fine. I'll remember that. The next time you want to join my coalition. Which never happens, because the AI doesn't really do that. Uh, actually, they do once you're in a coalition. They're like, fucking everyone wants to join. For now, though, I think we once again end the turn. There's very little I can do right now. Um, I can't build anything except for here, but I don't want to, so... Yeah. Gotta save the battery. Oh, okay. Watching on phone. Oh, yeah. Can you even... What, what kind of phone have you got if 1440p is even an option? Because my phone, which is... It's an it's iPhone 6S, but... Um, This has a. This only has 10, 1080p max. Liu Bu declared war on Duchy of Zhang. Okay. Commander Vas. They really need to fix this. You can't see who they asked to go to war with. Also, this like splash art in the background, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to cover the whole thing. Or maybe it's not, because actually it pops out here. Maybe that one's actually working correctly. But either way, it should say when you command a vassal to join against who it is. It used to, but they've removed it for some reason. Oh god, we got two of these. Um. Grandmasters, uh, 160 or more cunning, okay. And then here is Legacy of Sun Tzu, have Sun Tzu or Zhu Yu rank 6, one of those leveled up just now. We have three fucking things. Okay, reduce penalty from, from desire for higher office for all characters, holy shit. So we gotta get Lady Sun Tzu and Sun Chuan ranked up. Sun Chuan is easy, Lady Wu, well Lady Wu just like, ranked up just now, but yeah, she needs to level up several more times. We can do shared expertise right now to get Sun Chuan up. But we also gotta get da, da Xiao up for the other thing that we wanna get as well, so. Uh, anyway, Lady Wu, you're gonna go this way. This way, my lady. Lu Meng ranked up. You are gonna go for... Precision. Yeah, sure. Sure. And then 
We have one person that's just a uh, hand being unhappy. Lady Wu's not particularly happy either, to be honest. Fuck me, people. Chen Rong became available for recruitment. Some random dickheads. No thanks. We got a White Stein available. That is actually what you already have. And no one else needs that. We actually have two of those. Yeah, we have two of those already in reserve. Well, we had one of those in reserve. Now we have two in reserve. Okay. Uh, right, so this is going to be the military infrastructure. And this is going to just be upgraded again as well. To the lodge. Although we have tea, so I could go for tea part of this time. But we'll go for lodge. Okay. Then... Is it time for war? We could attack right away, but that would, we're not quite in position to attack here yet. And I do want to run through these towns pretty rapidly. I can probably attack that one in two turns. But that's two turns too many, I think. I do kind of want to do this right now. Start running through over here. I don't know where his armies are at, at, at all, though. It's kind of problematic. And again, this does in instigate a war with the Duchy of Song as well, and possibly other allies. Although, I guess Liu Bei, while he was scary at one point, he only has one town. He does have, you know, a pretty strong army, because he has four legendary characters just sitting over there, hanging out. And I don't really want to go to war with him, because if I were to finish him off, I would never be able to rec recruit those, and I'd love to recruit those characters. But either way, I don't want to sit here doing nothing. Uh, are we going to share expertise with someone... How close are you to leveling up now? Eh, you're gonna get there by yourself. I'm not gonna bother doing it with you, I think. I could do it again with this guy to give him level 5, which would then get me fire arrows. That's like, okay, I guess. I could upgrade him, because I do want to upgrade him and Da Chiao for that, uh, one of those reward things. I'm not that fussed though. I also need to get Lady Wu up, but she's not as much of a problem right now because she's so far away still. And she desires higher core position minus six. Yeah, she's going to be problematic as well at some point. Let's do Sun Chuan. We'll share expertise with him. That will get him up to level five, which will do something. No, yes, he did. But it's going to be a turn before it actually becomes active, I guess. Because that will. F Was it level six or level five? Uh, the Wu Legacy or something. Legacy of Wu. Uh, rank 5 or higher, yeah. So he, he has that now, but it, it takes a turn to come into play, I guess. Um, we also need to have a character 160 or more resolve. Do a June is probably closest to that. Ugh, not very close, though. Or Zheng Zhang, maybe. Yeah, Zheng Zhang is actually closer, but I don't know if I'll be able, be able to get there. I have a horse for plus four, and I have that for plus four, but that's about it. Um, okay, we'll have to look at all that later. This is super late game stuff. Um, what else is easy to do? I have two rank four for female commanders, okay? And rank two, rank, uh, two rank four female sentinels as well. Well, I don't have a single female sentinel in the faction right now, so this is not going to be happening anytime soon. Um, two rank five or higher commanders. That I no, I need one more of those. Oh right, that was yeah. That's no, that's the whole. That was what I was looking at. Yeah, we're gonna make that shadow level five. That was the whole goal with that. Still gotta do some fucking jewels of him. I keep forgetting. Although I haven't done any battles in this this uh, stream of him yet. Thanks for the sub, uh, drowsy Pam Pom Pompeino. Welcome to the channel. I am from the Netherlands. Yes. Um, I think he's Australian. <laughs> Australian. Um, if he's Australian, I will feel stupid for not recognizing it. <laughs> if, you were, if I was from Australia, how could you think that my accent is Australian? Um, right, okay, fucking, let's just go, I think. Let's just declare war. Let's do it. Um, are you at war with anyone else? I guess... The only other way to do that is by joining someone else's war. You're all yellow turban rebels, but I can't talk to them, can I? No. Uh, Alright, fucking, let's do it. War it is with you. This is the uh, beginning of the end right here. Uh, okay, I'll just delegate that. 
Since uh, declared war on Wang Lang. All right, so there we go. We got Yu Fun. If he's alive, which I don't know if he was actually, did he join? Uh, yes, he did. Okay. Oh, he's a generic dude though. He's fucking angry as well. Well, I'll look at him in a second. Uh, all right, so this is yeah. Once we have this full province, we are never going to be minus anymore on reckless luck. And we are still we have five turns and plus five as well, so we're doing quite well. Right, so we are now at war with you, yeah, Duchy of Song, and now, yeah, we're not at war with uh, Liu Bei yet, and all the other vassals. There's one down here, I'm pretty sure, yeah, Huashin, and the uh, Han Empire. There's actually and this guy as well. Jesus Christ, um, sorry, not you, him. But yeah, we're, we, those are all vassals who we could very easily go to war with, but not yet. He might pull them in though, he might pull all of them in immediately, but there's very little we can do about that. Anyway, that is a terrible building, let's not do that shall we? Actually literally reduce me to zero food. Uh, Aaron Chol Chun, welcome to the channel, thanks for subbing. Uh, okay, so you Fan, who are you, why are you important? Oh, shit, minus five character satisfaction but building up keep reduction income from all sources character experience he's drunk don't see that very often in fact i don't think i've ever seen that what the fuck minus six cunning minus 10 melee evasion plus five percent melee damage that's horrible for a fucking strategist and he's direct this guy sucks <laughs> i'm off to fire him right now he's unique though he has 40 points so i think i'll keep him but god he's not very good is he jesus He's also unhappy. He desires a higher core position. Okay, well, let's do that then. He's Oh, I can't do it right now. Yeah, we'll give him the core position. He's level 4, so at least he's going to get some benefit from that. Okay, we'll upgrade this town next turn. Where are we going to go after this? Are we going to go this way or that way? Probably this way. Pretty sure we can get there in a single turn, so that's good. We're actually working away close to this one now. Uh, and then, yeah, you're going to just make your way over and attack this livestock farm and just go east from there. That's... Yeah, easy enough. Right, uh, the moment of truth. Let's see if we get declared war on by a bunch of people. Also, the Ultram Rebels, they own two towns there, one town there. I may have to attack them soon. I wasn't planning on it, because I, in the other campaign, they ended up being a really strong faction somehow. But I feel like I, you know, there's two towns here right on my freaking doorstep, and there's one over here that's like easily part of, actually, that's part of Changsha, which I need as well, so. Yeah, I probably will attack them soon. They do have two full stacks here, but those are mostly peasants. And either way, we have two armies going that way, so that should be fine. Anyway. Um, didn't know he was streaming his games. What a surprise. Wait, who are we talking about? Me? I don't think YouTube notified about your live streams. I have the bell on, but never saw your streams. I mean, one of your streams has been so long. Hello, Sharky. Um... It's weird, yeah. I, I've heard that before, but I I usually stream at 2 p.m. CEST, so you can just kind of remember that. I also, if you just join my Discord, I put a notification on there every single time I stream. So I, I always notify my people or my viewer, my my Discord members anyway. Um, so you can just join that and then you get a notification there. Anyway, let's see it. Let's see if uh, Duchy of Song is going to pull in a bunch of people into this war. I hope not. But we'll see. Not the Han Empire yet, at least. That's something. What inspired you to make a YouTube channel? That sweet cash, yo! No. Um, <laughs> I, uh, back in the day, I, I, I always loved watching people make YouTube videos. Um, or I loved watching YouTube videos on games, anyway. And, um... Ooh, Gong Sun Zan. Care Warren, Dutch of Song. And, uh, I felt like maybe that's something I wanted to do myself. So uh, I, I started talking to a different YouTuber who stopped being a YouTuber years ago at this point. Um, and um, he kind of helped me uh, helped me set all, everything up because I had no idea how to do stuff. I was, when I first started my channel, or like f started my first channel, because this is not my first channel. Um, that was in like 2009, I think, so 11 years ago or something. Uh, this channel is about eight years old now. Um, Anyway, yeah, I, I, I started YouTube in 2009 and, and he set me up with that. 
Uh, he taught me how to, you know, use Sony Vegas and stuff like that to render and edit, etc. And then I just kept doing it because I enjoyed it. Uh, anyway, Zhang Yan declared or joined war alongside Cao Cao, Yang Feng vassalized Gong Sun Du. Okay. Ma Tang signed peace with Gong Sun Du. Duchy of Song signed peace with Gong Sun Du. Construct settlement administration. Good shit. Uh, we have Sun Quan rank 5, right? That's what we were doing. Yue Fan is ready for action. Ready for action. Uh, spy still trying to get in. Okay, we'll have a look at that in a second. Right, first of all, let's put you in here because you're pissed the fuck off. There you go. Now you're no longer pissed the fuck off. He still sucks, so I might just fire him at some point. Uh, here, alright, there's a town upgrade. Um, so this is a food province, which means I don't have anything else I want to build, so we're going to go for administration office, get our uh, jukeness up. There's already so many duchies out there. How the fuck am I so far behind in that in, in that regard? Because I'm not I'm not that much weaker than most factions, I feel like. Well, then again... Yeah, I mean, I own a fair amount of... Re uh, I guess I'm not the strongest, but I shouldn't be that far behind. Because I'm like halfway to, du to jukeness, and they've been juke for fucking ages. Anyway, um, what else we got? Upgrade this to level 4? I suppose I will. Don't mind if I do. And we're going to upgrade that as well. And I don't want to upgrade this to level 6 yet. I guess I'll upgrade this first. This is heavily food focused right now. I want that to be income focused. So let's switch it around first and then we'll upgrade it. Okay, you got some moves, my friends. Can we reach this next turn? No, alright, let's keep sprinting for that in. Okay. And you are gonna go take another town right away. Right away, sir. Take it, Gandalf. You must take it. Okay. This might be a fight a field battle, so I think we'll fight this one manually, because it's actually medium losses right now. That's okay. Do that in a second. Uh, so yeah, no one got pulled into our war just yet, so we got at least one turn of just it being okay for now. So we are currently, let's see, so he's number six, you are number five, number two, Ma Tong is number two, what the fuck, number four, Does that make, okay, that makes me number three. So we're the first strongest faction in the game. I guess Liu Biao is also not a duchy though, there's only two duchies, the duchy of Zhang, although he's number five, and then the duchy of Song is number one. He is number one. So I don't know. Because we're not even close to duchiness. Duchiness? Liu Biao must be close. He's usually a duchy. Um, and then Ma Tong, I don't, does he even declare himself? Because he, does, well, he doesn't declare himself emperor, but I guess he can still become a duchy. I guess it's not that crazy. There's only two duchies. Tsao isn't a duchy either. But he is, he's a lot weaker than me. It's a major threat, apparently. <laughs> Wait, hold on, what is that? It's two different things here. Strength compared to yours, their allied strength compared to yours. Ah, I see. Well, that's because you won't let me into your fucking alliance. If you if you let me in, we would mess up the world together, but no, they're actually getting they're both getting worse, so it's not gonna happen. 106 viewers are watching. Are there? On mine it says 74. Oh yeah, that okay, it's just, it's stuck apparently. It says 104 on my like dashboard thing, but on the actual stream like page it says 74. Still not a huge number though, but that's okay. Uh, right, let's do this battle. Make that a night battle. Cheekily fight that. Do you think Denmark's are part of me too? Are you asking me? Or someone else? Because I've never played Medieval 2 Vanilla before. Looks like you are asking me. I have no idea. I've never played. I've never played it. No idea. Zachary Schildhaus. I'm sorry if that's mispronounced. Thank you for uh, subscribing. Welcome to the channel. You donkey. <laughs> um, is that a quote from uh, what's his what's his name? The, the chef guy, Master Chef, what's his name? God, I can't remember now. Anyway, um, right, 
an actual field battle, the first one today. I need this guy to become level 6 already so I can get rid of these two shit units. Put you guys right there. Actually, you can sit back just there. And they don't have any calves, so let's just put you guys out to the flank right away. You have a um, Vanguard deployment too, so stay in the trees. There we go. Don't do that very often anymore. And I guess I could put some deployables. No, they have no cav. Let's put this here, but it doesn't really matter. Nothing really matters at all, so I might even say. Where is Sun Tzu? Sun Tzu is to the west, yeah. He will be... Uh, he'll be going to battle again soon. He, has a, he actually hasn't done any battle yet today. Oh right, I forget. I keep forgetting like all these things that I always normally remember, but it's been so long since I played this, so now I don't anymore. We gotta do a little bit of that. Uh, Cap and stay there for now, I guess. What are you doing, man? Pew, 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 and last pew. There we go. Okay. Don't have to finish him off, so that's all. Fantastic. Let's get you guys over here. Everyone, get in here. Are you going to do more faction overviews of Total War Free Kingdoms? Yes. Uh, the problem with the... Or the reason I haven't done any more yet, or at least for a while, is because of uh, patches and update. Or patches and DLC. Um, because the, basically the, the ones I've done so far, every single one is outdated already like it's still relevant mostly for the main campaign but there's a lot of stuff in there that is basically like well there's a lot of missing information now because obviously if you play as Sun, Sun Jan for example you have several new legendary characters that you get there are for certain factions there are different okay this unit is getting fucking destroyed different units uh, like for Ma Tong for example you get those Qian um, like infantry units now, rather than just a cav. There's there's so much new stuff there, and obviously they have new start dates. If you if I you know my my overview for uh, Liu Bei, he he has like three two or three new start dates, right? Two. So I, basically, if I do an, if I if I were to do one right now, I, it, it's just it just becomes outdated again after a little while. So I'm basically trying to avoid doing any overviews until. Basically, all the DLC is out and all the patches. Like, basically, the game's completely done, and that might be a year or two from now, but it just makes more sense to do it then rather than ha doing one and then having to redo it later anyway. I'd rather just wait for all the information to be there. So, there you go. So, I will be doing more, but I'll, it'll be at, like a, a long time from now. I could be cheap and just do one anyway, and then when there's DLC out, I could do like an update and I get way more views, and technically that'd be good for the channel, but. I just feel like that's doing people a disservice, but maybe that's just me. Uh, okay, so one more town and we are forever in positive reckless luck. That one right there, I don't think we can reach that in a single turn now. No, but that's okay. You're going to get there next turn, fan ruddy tastic We're actually really fucking rich right now. Not too shabby. Only slightly shabby. I think it might be time to build another army here, to be honest. Uh, we are... I wonder how much food we're actually getting from What's-Her-Face, because I'm thinking about pulling her out now. Uh, we're gonna get Rice Paddy there, that's Livestock Farm. Even if we do go down on food, I think we'll be okay again, like, really so shortly after. We're also getting food back from a deal soon. Let me see how long that is, actually. Also, what is this negative thing here? We have low satisfaction. What the fuck are you on about? We have like two people that are not too super happy, and that's low satisfaction. Look at all these green faces up here. I guess these ones could all be quite like low as well. 30 something. <sighs> I think it might go away again soon, but um Anyway, yeah, when is our food coming back from Cao Cao? Okay, this coming turn. So yeah, we're gonna pull Zheng Zheng out. I'm gonna make another army. Although that also means I lose like a lot of money from that deal as well, but I think we're still pretty much good to build another army, or at least a, a considerable portion of it. Because I think I want to use Zhang Zhang, although I guess I could easily use Luo Jun. Luo Jun is a fucking beast as well. 
Also, I have all these fucking command. That's what I totally forgot about. I can give these people a role to keep their happiness up. So, how about you become my attendant? There you go. And Han Ding, Dang, Dong, is actually a lot happier now because I gave. Because why? I guess some rivalries went away. He. Why did he? Why is he so not? Uh, why is he so happy all of a sudden? I have no idea. You have a lack of purpose. Well. Maybe you'll be in the next army. I could make the, the next army a full women army. Da Xiao, Xia Xiao, and Zheng Zhang. I believe that was my goal anyway. I think we're going to do that. Are any of those on currently on assignment? I think they are. Uh, da Xiao is, and then you are. So I'm going to pull you both out, and I will make that army next turn. Um, and then you will lack, your lack of purpose will go away. You'll be happier as well. Lack of purpose is currently actually going away because you were doing something, but it's okay. Right, so that's going to be the next army. Um, then what else we got? So Lurjan won't be next army leader just yet. Okay. So I could recruit one of them right away, but I'm, I'm kind of thinking that maybe I want to wait a turn. Like, maybe we'll see someone declare war on me. Like, maybe um, Duchy Song is going to pull in the Han Empire or something, which means that I want to build my army here. Or if he's going to pull in Liu Bei, I want to put in my army here. Something like that. So I'm kind of being a little bit careful. Um, there was something else I was going to do, but I've totally forgotten what that was now. Right, yes, roles. Okay, so I was doing that. So you're going to get some happiness already. I need to have a look at who actually, actually has a role right now. Like Lu Meng is super unhappy. A senior officer, which is costing me 200 bucks per turn. Like he doesn't really need that anymore to stay happy. So let's just take his role away from him. Zhu Tai, you're my chief of records. That's giving you... 25, yeah, you need that for sure. Lady Wu, I just gave that role to you. I gave that role to you. Uh, Lua is my patrol commander. He's happy enough, doesn't need that. Although, I, again, I might lose happiness. I, I'm, like, because I'm... I, I have satisfaction low, which could go away if I give him a couple more roles out, but yeah, whatever. Uh, and then I need to actually look at the roles of the ones that save me money. Or that does something actual, like, actual useful actually useful because um, we also need to get like certain characters to a particular amount of you know resolve etc if i give him something that gives him a bunch of resolve that could help so there's 10 cunning so that'd be good for if we need someone to get a cunning up uh, recruitment costs reduction i could give that to what's her face next turn i guess Zheng Zhang actually is closer anyway so i could give that to her let's just do it right now I might forget otherwise um, well, I should have had a look further at what else there is actually, but okay, there's not, not really much else. Yeah, we'll give that to her, and then we actually get reduction in recruitment cost as well, so that's okay. Um, and then we can do the same with like Da Xiao. She could get the Earth Dragon, which gives her 15 to 40. Eh, I'm not too fussed about it. You know what? If I get that to Sun, Sun Chuan, actually, he's. Um, well, closer to, to, to getting that thing that we need to get, but I'm not even that fussed about that. I'm, I'm more thinking about it gives him more uh, faction-wide satisfaction. Yeah, an extra plus two. So that's probably worth doing for 200 bucks per turn. Yeah. Um, anyway, so is there anything else that you want? I don't think I have many. I have Cunning. I could give that to her. Plus ten. She becomes a little happier as well. Costs 100 bucks per turn. Yeah, fuck it. Let's do that. Um, there's ten there as well. That would give Keltrops for the entire army and ambush chance. This one gives character experience, public order. You know what? I think this one's actually better. Take the Keltrops. Then we have uh, that one's just a mix, like satisfaction as well as instinct. I don't really care about that. Okay, this is fine. All right. Um, still making six grand. Went down a little bit, but that's okay. All right, we will end the turn. Did you know Total War Warhammer 2 having a discount on Steam? I did know that, yes. We were giving this information a long time ago as content creators. They were actually supposed to do it earlier, uh, and Shogun 2 is going to be free in a couple of weeks as well, right? Next week or something. Or free to play anyway, and then uh, with a massive discount, similar to Warhammer 2 right now. They were supposed to do that a couple of weeks ago, but it got leaked, so they extended the times to later, or they made the times later. Uh, reckless doesn't matter. 
we have some ladies. I actually would want to keep an eye out for high level ladies because I do actually need like high level sentinels for that quest, for example. Okay, let's upgrade that a little bit further and we'll upgrade this one now. And then we got 30k left over to build that army with. We're still on 18 food. Yeah, we got all of our money back. We're still on four grand income, but we got to remember that two grand of that, or almost two grand, is from this deal right here. And when that runs out, I mean, I, I could probably sell more food to him again, to be fair. So it probably is still okay. But I won't get it, I won't get two grand from it, but I'll still make some money from it. Um. Check the lower titles. I checked all of them. Some cost the same and give better results. Oh, uh, whatever. Uh, I uh, yes. Okay. So we yeah. Okay. That food deal is not gonna happen anymore, right? I mean, you you've got oops. You've got so much food now that that isn't gonna give me any money anymore. No. Okay, I mean, I could sell them an ancillary. I have plenty of those laying around. But I'm not sure how fussed I am about that. What do you? What would you give me for this axe? Just out of curiosity. 6.6 only, geez. Just out of curiosity. Uh, no, definitely not. Okay, well, dealing with Cao Cao is over, it seems. Um, any other deals I can... Ooh, there's a lot of stuff here. Any other deals I can make... Not aggression back to the Duchy of Jean, really. I guess I wouldn't be too opposed to that. I am planning on expanding west before I expand north, especially because I guess I can just attack the Han Empire now, since I'm already at war with the Duchy of Jean anyway. And Hua Xin, for that matter. Oh. Package. Give me one minute, guys. Share stream boys it's over didn't last very long did it <sighs> all right give me nope okay i think i still might want to take this because i was i'm not interested in going to war with him at all anytime soon uh the ubi will dislike it but it's not really a huge deal why don't you become my vassal huh no fair enough join the coalition oh actually yeah, i could i could actually make him Make him join a coalition, or join a coalition with him, I should say. Um, but nah, nah, I'm not that fussed about making a coalition with this dickhead. You are rank five, I'm stronger than you, you suck. Will you pay me some money? Nope. Ah, uh, got any ancillaries that I could do a trade or something? No, oh, just fucking nothing, all right, fine. Do you obey vassal? He's already a vassal. I can't vassalize a vassal. You stupid idiot. You fool. Uh, I don't really want to do any of those deals there. How difficult would Vassal... Okay, everyone's basically a no now. No, 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 no. Okay, well. That's all fucking shit. I'm still going to build an army. I just don't know if I want to do it right now. I guess I will. Maybe I'll just declare war on the Han Empire immediately. Well, let me do some uh, town taking first, actually. So you're going to take this livestock farm. That should be... Oh, there's an army there. Is that... That's Wang Long. Oh, he's not in range, though. Let's just take this. I think that is him, actually. Not sure. I suppose we'll find out. There he is, yeah. There's his little stupid face. <laughs> Look at him. What an... It actually looks pretty cool. Um, what? How is that 50 armor? <laughs> Does that look like 50 armor? It's just a robe. There's no armor there. Whatever. Um, God, he's not very good, is he? What has he got for his unique stuff? He's only got 30 points. Character experience faction wide. Mm. Right. Wang Long. Lord of Thunder. Really? You gave yourself a title? How is that even possible? I can't. Wait, hold on. Can I? 
Can I give my faction leader a title? Because if not, I'm pretty sure that's not... Yeah, you can't. That's not supposed to be a thing, I'm pretty sure. Oh well. What do I know? Um, right, you're going to run this way to go take that. I guess I'll stay in my own territory for now, make sure I can run further. Down the road there's usually a lamellar armor. You mean like behind it, or like underneath it. I don't know. That rope, sorry, that rope did not look like it was hiding lamellar armor. Also, despite, despite removing a bunch of titles, we are now on high satisfaction. Uh, right, so the plan is, do I build an army? Because going to Ardahan Empire doesn't actually do much. Uh, going to towns up here as well, that's a bit annoying. It doesn't really do anything negative, does it? There's, n It's no longer a case of, you know, they declare war on Ardahan Empire, you just go to war the entire world, like in a regular campaign. I guess it's only, it's only ever the person who owns them anyway, which is... Well, yeah, I mean, they're a vassal, just like any other vassal. They're not unique anymore. So I think I will build an army here and declare war on them soon. Uh, where do I build the army? Here or here? I think we're going to start here and just go that way. Um, yeah, they do own two towns up here, which is a bit annoying. I, I'm half tempted to attack those first. Um... Does make me border him as well, which is kind of shitty. Shitty. Uh, I could even take those and then sell them to him, perhaps. But I'm not sure exactly how fast I am about that. I think I'll build the... Because they don't have any armies here. Well, they don't have an army here. They might have an army there, but it's unlikely. Like, what are the odds of them having an army there? So I, f I think I'm just going to build it here and just go down... Or here and just go down this way. And then we can always take those later. I'm, I'm not as fussed about those two towns as I am about anything else. So, uh, let's raise ourselves an army, shall we? So this is going to be led by Da Chiao. It's going to be exciting. Fuck me, 510. What the heck are these units? They're so expensive. God, can I even afford a full stack? Maybe I don't recruit a full stack. Maybe I just recruit, like, a portion of it, and then we'll just attack with... We don't need a full stack if there's no full stack against us, right? But then again, I don't know what they have. I can't afford it right now, but next turn we're going to be broke instantly is the problem. I'm just kind of, you know... Let's get her first. She's like she's definitely the most important part of this uh, this army here. Okay, you get a bunch of those boys. Although... Do I... Yeah, I think I do still want those. How much are they? 136. They're 149. Compare the two. Uh, and the first unit is just way better at everything, except for this thing, armor shield. Really? Okay. Um, I guess because it's some really small shield, this one's fucking, this is like a, just a big fucking panel. But this gives us turtle formation, which is easier with sieging, and they're a little bit cheaper, but not a, yeah, a huge deal. So I'm not that fussed about that. Um... God, it's a tough one. I actually kind of think I should go Mercenary Infantry. I think once she gets to level 6, however, we're going to switch them all out for the Tiger Guard anyway. So maybe I'll just hold on until I'm level 6 and then we'll just do... Yeah, let's just get the um, these ones. Because I'm going to switch them all out anyway, so it doesn't matter too much. Oops. Whoopsie daisy. Uh, recruits. Two more. Alright, and then we'll also recruit... Oh god, I didn't even like each other. That sucks. Okay, oh, fuck it. We'll recruit you as well. We have to give these people gear. Uh, you get a horse, don't you? Yes, here you go. It's a horse. A horse is a horse, of course, of course. And you get a uh, an ox or a fish. Here's an ox for you. Ye be ye ox. Um, you don't get anything, I don't think. I don't think I've got anything for you. Nope. That's okay. Daughter of the Southlands. That's interesting. Uh, go away. You get... A bunch of mercenary. You can't even recruit mercenary. You're so fucking shit. What level do you need to be for those? Level three. God damn. That is just terrible. Well, in that case, I will take a bunch of crossbows. Uh, I mean, I could go for regular. No, no, there's no reason to. And a trip. Okay, so that brings us to two point six. We're still making two k from diplomacy. So if diplomacy goes away, we would be on 600 bucks income 
However, cavalry, unfortunately, is the most expensive portion of the army, so probably will have to hold off on getting her. Although I guess I could get her and then just get rid of the calves, but that'd be stupid because I have to re-recruit him. Um, I, and yeah, I think I'll hold off for now. Let's just see. Because if I can get the deal again, I guess I can. I will definitely be able to sell food again to him for quite a bit of money. So you know what? I think I will just recruit it all right now. I got the money. Let's just do it. Dachiao, welcome. Alright, what do I kind of cap? I could get Handmaid's Guard. They're not really that great because they haven't got a shield, but they are really cool and they're very thematic with a full women army. I mean, come on. I think that makes sense. So let's have a look comparatively between the. Hold on. I can't even recruit regular Saber Cav. Okay, let's um, compare the Jian Sword Guard Cav, I guess, to them. So. These guys actually have more morale, more charge bonus, more damage, and both uh, non-armor piercing and armor piercing. More melee evasion, no shield, of course, same armor, um, no shield, and then a lot less. Yeah, they only have 35% melee resistance as opposed to 80%, which is, or sorry, range, uh, range resistance, which is a pretty big difference, but they are much better in melee. They also have um, this guard, 30% damage resistance, uh, if they are in 35 meter range of a general, I'm guessing, or they give a general 30% 30 30 damage resistance. Interesting. Not something that will happen a lot, I'm afraid, but still. They also encourage, but yeah, they actually don't. Okay. And these things, they do all get. Oh, what the fuck? 50% missile resistance. Oh, shit. That's that new thing they added in the last patch. I never even see, see this. I hadn't even seen this actual image yet. Interesting. Okay, well, I'll definitely go for Handmaid's Guard then. So let's just ex uh, exchange these ones for now. And then I will probably hold off on recruiting anymore. Or will I? Nah, fuck it. We'll be on minus income for a turn, but that's okay. And then you are going to get two more of these Spear Guards, I think. Alright, so there's an army. And I guess you're also going to lead this army. Uh, although I don't think... Ooh, we have Unyielding Earth as well, nice. Don't think we have any movement on anyone in this army, unfortunately. You are going to get both the movement buffs later on, so I guess you actually might lead it after all. 50% reinforcement range and increased rates of wall and settlement, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you get nothing for leading, and you get shield wall, spear wall, morale, etc. Um, yeah, I guess I'll have you lead it for now, and then we'll, we'll switch to Zhang Zhang later on. Okay, cool. This isn't Battle Lord. Hey, Tog. You're right. This isn't Battle Lord. Alright, so next turn I think we're going to lose money for a turn, but then we're going to get another deal again. We should be okay again. Plus we still have a, a big enough treasury that not to worry about that for a little while. We're still taking town after town here. Town after town. I wonder where he's going to go. I guess if he goes this way we should be able to just catch him. We are actually... We're on 121. So I think we just crossed into the next one again, or at least we will do it the next turn, so that's good. Still gaining a whole bunch per turn now. Sweet. And again, next turn we're going to get an extra plus two per turn as well. So And we still have five turns of this Reckless Luck, which is going to go up when we take that again. So it's just going to keep going better and better. Better. It's going well, Tuck. How about you? Why have two daughters of the Southlands? Because they are both daughters of the Southlands. There's, the Southlands are quite big, as it turns out. Military access, you just do scum of the earth. Um, yeah, go on then. I don't really want to make deals like this if I don't get anything for it, but with him, I'm not, you know, I don't want to get attacked by him all of a sudden, so. Don't kill Wang Lang's faction. Why not? Hey, Mr. Smart Monkey. Mr. Mr. Smart Monkey OP, what is your opinion of Thrones of Britannia? I want to play it because I love the period, but I heard it's the worst of the war game. I don't think it's the worst. Hey, my spy got recruited by Duchy of Zhang, who we just made some deals with, so I don't have to worry as much about him anymore. Uh, Thrones of Britannia, the era is great. I, I'm a huge fan of The Last Kingdom and the books written by Bernard Cornwell, which are uh, like also set in that era, and that, that's what the, the Last Kingdom show is based on. I really like that era with like... Um, I can't remember his fucking name. Uh, what... The, the, the king, Alfred the Great. Um, 
yeah, it's it, the era is great. The game, I, the gameplay generally, I think is decent. I, I there's a couple of things I really like, like the recruitment system. Having when you recruit a unit, it's, it, it's the same as in this game. Uh, you instantly get it, but you only get a small portion of it, and then it replenishes over time. I really like that. Friends of Britannia was the first to introduce that into the series. Um, so there's 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 a couple of things. I generally it's an okay game, but yeah, it, it, there is a lot of it lacking as well. Like if you compare it to Friends of, or to uh, Free Kingdoms or to Shogun Two or any of the like the top Total War games, it's just not quite as good. But I I, I still liked it at the time. Unfortunately, because Free Kingdoms and Shogun Two are so much better, I don't really play it anymore. But when I did play it, I actually quite enjoyed it, and I would I wouldn't be opposed to going back to it at some point either. Anyway, recruit it. That's good. What a total war Warhammer free is out. Did you want to do camp? Am I going to do campaign videos and Warhammer free? Probably, yeah. But I, I wouldn't expect to do much of that. Spy promoted government. Ooh, grand shooter. Nice. Um, yeah, I'm not. I'm not. Oh, nice. He's got flaming arrows now. Sweet. I'm not expecting uh, to do many Warhammer free videos. I, I want obviously you know kind of ride the hype for a little bit. But the the problem is with that is that. Um, most people on my channel don't actually really care anyway. Whenever I did Warhammer 1 or 2 videos, the views were always way lower, lower than Shogun 2, and they will be lower than Free Kingdoms now, because now I'm somewhat known for doing Free Kingdoms on the channel. Um, so yeah, I don't expect it to do particularly well. But I, I obviously, I want to have a look. It's still a Total War. I mean, I'm, I'm a Total War YouTuber. It's what I do. It's what I do. Um, so I, yeah, of course, I'll, I'll play them, but uh, not a ton, I imagine. Unless for some reason it, it kicks off on my channel. Uh, I was kind of wondering if I should build an administration office or a marketplace. Kind of want to get to Dutchy soonish because it's I'm fucking lacking behind, so I guess I'll go for administration office. Yeah. Could go either way. I could also upgrade the town further, but. Oh, we're still making 1602 bucks. What the fuck? 2k from diplomacy. Oh, wait, that deal didn't run out yet, did it? I thought I'd run out this this turn here, but no, it's still two turns on that. Okay, never mind. Don't know why I was so worried then. Uh, you are going to move here. We are not going to fully replenish now, but that's okay. That's deserted as well. That's disgusting. Oh, you're just sitting there. Wow, okay. Well, that should be easy then. Right, so this is going to be the final of the three provinces that we're supposed to take here. So that's that means from now on... Um, Sunsa cannot die anymore from reckless luck because now we have a we have eleven per turn positive, plus you know any other bonuses we keep getting like another five turns of reckless luck per turn. But we are now forever positive, so he cannot die anymore. We got sixteen minus the five would be eleven, and we also have agricultural building construction cost reduction by twenty percent. Whoop de doo! Everyone's fucking mates. Nice. Um. Okay, so you're going to attack him. He's going to run away, I imagine. And then we're going to attack him again. I might fight this one, because it is one long. You know, it's an easy auto-resolve. But also, I need to win jewels with this ticket, so... I'll fight it, and if they want to duel me, great. If not, we'll just kill him anyway. Legend has done a review for France. Yeah, he has. But he fucking hated it, didn't he? A lot of people hate it. I don't hate it. I think it's okay, but it's not. I prefer... If I had to choose between... Thrones of Britannia, Attila, and Rome 2. I would play Thrones of Britannia. I'll put it that way. But, but I personally just wasn't a big fan of Rome 2 and Attila. Like, I don't know, whenever I see the graphics, I just kind of go... Eh. Like, Shogun 2 looks so much better. I don't know what it is about those games. I just can't... I just, I just don't like them that much. Um, Rome 2 had, like... when I, I really liked Divide and Impera, the mod, for that. For a long time, I thought it was great. And then they started introducing all these crazy, like, people love it. I really hate it. The, um, like, population differences. Like, you have, you know, uh, the peasants, and then you have the the noblemen, and then, like, two ranks in between and all that stuff. And I just, it becomes way too complicated for me. I don't, I don't enjoy that. I just want, you know, I, do, I like complicated stuff in games. Don't get me wrong. I hate it when games get really tuned down so they become uh, appealing to the masses, but obviously they lose a lot of, like in like a lot of depth because of it. But I also don't like it when a game becomes too complicated and all of a sudden there's so many fucking things to keep track of that you can't play the game anymore. You're just reading text and making sure you're not making mistakes the whole time. Like 
there's there's a, a middle ground there, and for me, the, with divided and power, it just went over the over the line. Okay, this guy wants the jewel. Perfect. Shogun two feels more alive than Attila and Rome two. Attila battles are a bunch of yellowish all over. Yeah, the battle like the the, the the campaign graphics are one thing. They're not super great, but the, I can get over those. But in the battles, it's it all looks the fucking same. It's so bland. It's I don't know. Just couldn't get into it. Do we have any buffs, by the way, for making his jewels better? Uh, yeah, kind of. Okay, go jewel that dickhead. Make him, make him invite you to a jewel, and then run back a little bit. I'm assuming we would fucking destroy this guy, right? Uh, he has higher attack rate, but way lower damage. He does have decent melee evasion, but nothing too crazy. Yeah, I'll run away a little bit. Where are they going, by the way? Also, we're burning the forest around us. I mean, we're, we're losing men right now to the burning the forest. Whoopsie daisy. Let's switch to normal boulders, I guess. Jewel, jewel, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Straight through the fire. There he is. Nice. Are you nearby? Yes, you are. Okay. Can do that. If he starts winning, he should go berserk automatically, right? Oh, he dodged it. Son of a bitch. He may have used a melee evasion buff. Uh, no, he didn't actually. No, no, he hasn't at all. Where are their. Okay, is this their. How many cap units do they have? Just the one? No idea. Do you ever stream in the evenings or nights European time? I can't catch your streams during weekdays. Uh, I used to actually stream 8 p.m. CEST or CET in the winter. Um, but I kind of switched to 2 p.m. for some reason now. European times. I don't know why exactly I switched. But it just kind of worked. I think because I, I like having my evenings for myself is the main thing. It's nice that I, I can just relax in the evening. Do whatever the hell I want to do, basically. He's not even fucking winning this, is he? Jesus Christ. Um, so yeah, it's it's. I, I did stream before in the evenings, and and uh, I do sometimes still do. Do sometimes still do. Last week I streamed once in the evening. Um, because I was doing. I did. I streamed twice in one day. Oh my god, he's actually losing the duel. What is happening? What is this guy's melee evasion? Twenty nine percent. How is he winning so badly? Like, we win. We have better stats than every single thing, except for melee attack rate. He keeps dodging that as well. That's the third time we've done that ability, the third time he's dodged it. That's why I can't duel with him. He sucks. Actually, we need to kill this man right here. Okay, he's winning again. It's a fucking toss-up, though. You guys might want to charge in there, actually. Come on. we got more HP than him now. We have a lot more melee, like, um... Oh my god, he's gonna fucking lose. We have a lot more armor piercing damage, but... Okay, 2.5, that actually hit for once. Come on, one hit and he's probably dead. We're on 4.2k, 2.8k HP against this 2.5. 1.5 against 2.5, okay, fucking... Unbelievable. It's so dumb, why can't he... He was so... He had way better stats on, like, everything, except for, like... Melee attack rate and slightly melee evasion, but like a very, very slight number. That was so dumb. He's gonna die to fucking race damage now, isn't he? Okay, there goes Wang Long. Kill him. I want my revenge. Come on, guys. Jesus. 951. This is disappointing. This is this is sad. The amount of range that's being shot at this man, and somehow we can't kill him. There we go. Right. Get fucked soon, sir. <laughs> I know that too. My best character would take forever to beat a random sentinel jewels. I'm like, what? Yeah, like, it's kind of weird because it's supposed to be, you know, sentinels are supposed to be good at melee evasion, but they don't. Just because they're a sentinel doesn't automatically make them good at it. They obviously still need to get the stats for it. And that guy had 29% melee evasion, and he didn't have an ability to make him better. Although I did, he did have that ability that makes him better the longer jewels go on. But still, he didn't seem to have like 
an insane amount or something, and I just wasn't doing any fucking damage to him. And he, he dodged three of those four attacks I did on him. Um, three, three of those four uh, um, uh, Flames of Phoenix attacks. Which is just so dumb. Also, the fucking Yellow Turbans took this town. You sons of bitches. You better not take this one before I get there. I'll be mildly upset. Although I guess I'll be attacking you soon anyway. Maybe that's what I should have. I should have built this army there instead. So that if I attack the Yellow Turbans, which I was planning on doing, I could immediately take that town out there as well. Now I need to wait for quite a while, I think, before I can declare war on the Yellow Turbans. Well, that was dumb. Sentinel like freaking OP, yeah. That was fucking sad, because I just need to win a couple of jewels as soon as I... I don't even know how many jewels I've won yet. Uh, is there a way to find out for him specifically? Because I can see jewels generally here. Uh, that's deals, not jewels. Be in here somewhere. <sighs> Blind should be there somewhere, right? But... Is it up here? There definitely is a, a jewel thing somewhere, but I think I might just be losing my mind. Oh, here you go. It's right at the top. Um, okay, we've done two jewels and we won one, but I don't even know who we won that with. It may not have even been soon. Oh, here we go. Yeah, he has one, one victory. Is that what that is, though? Champion duelist. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, so he's, he's got one out of five. Ugh. Could have had two if he just not sucked so much. He skipped it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I found it. I found it. Oh, I got it. Okay, well, um, I think we're once again just going to have to end our tiki turn here. Anything else I want to do? Actually, maybe peace on that. On the peace now. I wouldn't be too opposed to it. But I, again, to be fair, I need to... The only enemies I have, or the only people I can attack near me are people that are... Um, a vassal of him. But then again, the entire fucking world is vassalized by him, so... Because there's him, and then there's Han Empire. And those are my two main targets now. Besides the Yellow Turbans, I guess. And there's three towns here that are deserted that I can just take for free. Which is probably what I'll be doing for a little while. We'll see. I'll probably, I might still attack the Yellow Turbans anyway. What are the, chan what are the odds they have a full stack here? And even if they do, this has a pretty decent garrison. If I just recruit someone in there, we might be okay anyway. But for now, let us end this turn. Um, yep, yeah, I can't build anything else. Let's get out of here. Her man has insane melee vision, yeah. He can get like 90 something. It's insane. He is Superman, yeah. Long, long after joined a war. <laughs> All right, Libya signed peace of Lubu. Okay, uh, we have some random woman available. A oh, bright. I thought it was brilliant for a second. For that one second, I was wrong. Calm wrong. Uh, let's build this. You are, you are actually here, but I have to wait a turn. It's not worth waiting. I could use you to do some income from commerce, which I have some commerce here, 140. Um, yeah, I guess I will. Go on then. Uh, do I, can I get more elsewhere? Hold on. Hold on just a second now. Uh, 250 in John, yeah, yes we can. Could do that. We also have some armies that need to be moved, so you are going to go take this, this... Oh, for fuck's sake. I bet you the yellow terminal can pop in and be like, Hey, that's ours now. <laughs> uh, you're going to move towards said yellow terminals and attack them. Probably just immediately next turn. Because they're not in here anymore. There are there were two armies around here, though, so I'm a little bit afraid. I'm pretty sure there's one in here, because they just took that, obviously. Fuck me, if they take this... Well, if they take that, then I'm definitely declaring war on them immediately. Although I'm not fully healed here. And in fact, Sun Tzu is basically dead, so that's a bit of a shame. But we'll see. Uh, you are going to go and attack them. Wasting a lot of movement, but it's okay. Um, someone with 99% melee evasion constantly accidentally jeweled him. <laughs> 
Yeah, that would be an accident, wouldn't it? Uh, income from industry is not even that bad, but I think we're going to go for this uh, and upgrade to the copper mine. I think we have two copper mines, don't we? You can also get 5% corruption reduction, which is pretty good as well. Oof, both of those are pretty solid right now. Um, I'll get this one first. I should have checked, actually, if I can build the copper mines up. Yeah, this one I definitely can. Seven ruddy turns. And this one I can't because I'm building that. Do I want to cancel that? I kind of do because this is actually a lot of money I can make later on. I think I've put in one turn in this so far, so it's not a huge loss. I can also finish it, 2500 bucks. That's pretty expensive, but I think I will. Because I'm not sure how many turns I've put into that. Okay. It feels painful doing that, but it's okay. Again, next turn we're going to lose almost all of our income, but we're still positive, so it's okay. You are going to attack the Han Empire, I believe. You are a dwarf of a bunch of people. But I'm pretty sure, again, I can't actually join... Oh, I'm fucking trading with you. No, I'll be untrustworthy if I do that. Why did I not pay attention? Also, they've lost that one over there, so they've only got one town left up here now. Um, okay, well... Hmm. So the goal is going to be something different then. We're going to be running over towards Changsha and taking that first. We're not fully replenished, but that's okay. Like, almost. So let me break my trade with you then. Soz. So I'm pretty sure I can attack them in 5 or 10 turns, so it's still not too bad. Then I can get trade with someone else. Uh, Duchy of Zhang. It's only for... Oh man, this one's way better. But they're right there. And they're right there as well. Okay, it's got to be you, unfortunately. Don't even get anything for this. This is a sad state of affairs here. Also, you start on 1.2. You could actually give me quite a bit of money for very little, right? Yes, I think I'll definitely be giving you an auxiliary right now. Get my income back up. What the fuck is that? An iron sickle? Holy shit, I've never seen that before. I want this thing. That's actually pretty good. Um, I have for you several weapons. Here is a... Axe. And here be yet another axe. What do you say to that? I want more money. Okay, that's actually jumping up pretty rapidly. Um, can I give you anything else? Do you need food? You have 39 food. No, you definitely don't need food. That's a, that's a stupid question. You want my coalition? Oof, that's actually really close. Do I join a coalition with Duchy of Zhang? You are at war with Duchy of Song. Oh, there you go. He's a Wait, hold on, no, that's on me. That's him up there, never mind. Liu Biao as well, though. And I'm trying to stay friends with Liu Biao, so that's not great. You are number four. Liu Biao, I can't remember. I think he was weaker, right? Uh, still, though, it's negative, so I don't think I will. Iron Sickle, eight point. Okay, let's just drop the Iron Sickle. Let's drop the Act. Um, how much money are you going to give me for all this stuff? What do you say? I think we might actually just drop the 4.31. Yeah, I don't think that's worth that much. God, I still wish there was a better way to do that. Okay, 670 for the Battle Axe Silver Weapon. That's fine. And trade as well, of course. So we're making about an extra 1000 bucks per turn for the next 10 turns and then 402. Not too shabby. Yeah, that sickle's actually pretty good. Don't even have a vessel? No? Actually, only 60. I, I feel like I could probably get there, but... No. Um, he'll betray you, he's such a rat. Yeah, it's only trade for now. Oh, you mean like if I went for a coalition? Yeah, maybe. Gongshin Zan is another big player, and Liu Zhang, I suppose, is a decent big player as well. Are you even still alive? I mean, obviously you are, but... Not very strong. Don't think there's any point getting a coalition with someone who's not even near me. All right, uh, I can do another thing. I don't think I want to do a thing though. Things are pretty stupid. I can build a building in Yuzhang, copper mine. Oh, that's, hold on, is that free copper mines? Yes, it is. Oh boy, didn't even realize I had a third one. Did we just take that recently? Where is this one? This one, oh yeah, that's that one there, right. And then we have one over here and one over here, yeah. Man, there are free copper mines here, I forgot about that. Pretty sure there's no more around here though. Or is I can't even remember. There's one 
over here somewhere. I can't remember exactly. I'm pretty sure there's one over here somewhere. There's one up here. That's a copper mine. And there's one here. That's a copper mine as well. And there might... Is there another one up here somewhere? I can't remember exactly. No, there... Is there? I, I don't remember. But I don't think there's any... There's many more down here. Um, but still. That's free right there. That's pretty good. Right. I think we're good to end the turn again. We are down to three and a half grand now. Not making so much money anymore, but that's okay. We still got high satisfaction. Uh, corruption is 20% though. Yeah, we definitely do need to get some corruption reduction soon. That's okay. All the copper. Lots of duchies, yeah. Everyone's becoming a fucking duchy, apparently. The two brothers are duchies. I think that's actually it right now, though. It's just those two. Who the fuck do you think you are coming over to my goddamn court asking for non-aggression? How dare you? Oh, you're right over here. Okay, I'll fuck you. That is what I wish, under Dodge. Alright. Wow, they're really pulling long, long into into uh, into wars. Into war. Ma Tong signed peace with Cao Cao and Xiang Yan. Vengeance is mine! The burden of a vengeful duty that long clouded this general's happiness is finally lifted. Through sheer chance, they encountered their target on a lonely road and satisfied their responsibility once, once and for all. Okay. 20 satisfaction for that man. Do I have any more missions? Oh wow, yes, I, that one. Like, uh, I mean missions for the actual campaign, kind of like following the story kind of thing. But um, yes, we have two. Some, it's a good reward, but only for five turns. But yeah, Duchy of Jean. I totally forgot about that. Although I was at war with him for a little while. But I don't know Sorry, I don't think I ever fought them, did I? Uh, yeah, Gong is definitely on the back foot, as it turns out. Okay. Uh, a Royce Petty. I think we're going to upgrade this to level 4 as soon as possible, though. We are losing money now, but only barely, so it's not too bad yet. Uh, and I can't do anything here. Okay. I want that one, so I need to get something I'm not planning on going for anytime soon. That one there. Okay. Okay. All right, okay. Uh, let's get some money. So you, there you are, are very poor on food. I know, but how poor are you really? Okay, give him quite, we have quite a bit of food right now, so we're gonna use it, because we got all that food back from, uh, what's his face? Okay, so you need 17 food, because 18 then it gives you plus one extra. Yep. All right, so we should be able to make a decent amount of money from this again. Marriage. Liu Min. Who the fuck is that? You think he, she can marry my goddamn heir, you little bastard boy? Ooh, give me all that cash. Ooh, there we go. Alright, we're not, not in any financial problematic situation just yet. Any ancillaries? Nope. Um, okay, so let's up that to under five, maybe. Nope. Three. Yes. 1543 bucks for 17 food. You want to be my vassal? Uh, what is cooperation worth to you? Oh, leaf. Oh wait, that becomes yeah. No, that makes me a vassal. I always forget about that because it's it's not like because you can do the same a similar thing to Duchy of Zhang um, by like helping him become emperor or something. But it's it's not actually. Also, he's taking that as well now. It's not. Um, th this one is straight up becoming a vassal. That one is a little bit different. Liu Biao is a little cheapo. What the fuck? How old is Liu Biao? 100. Uh, we'll have a look at that in a second. He's um, he's getting up there in age. It's one of the reasons why I don't want to play as him, because he starts out so old. But I guess he does live for a while. We're on turn 45. Uh, also, I have 98 of this. I need to use that right now. So he uh, is... Liu Biao. No, that's Liu Bei. Liu Biao. He is 60 years old. He's not that old. I guess this is... This start is 94 as well, so it actually is... Yeah, if you start, if you do the regular Free Kingdoms campaign with him, he lives for a decent while. But anyway. Um, I guess you can even start the earlier start with him as well, can't you? Can't you? 
Right, keep going here. Oh, there is a full stack right there. Okay, right. Well, let's make our way over here first then. Turns out we are going to have to be careful after all. As it turns out. Well, you're going to be able to take this first. Oh, right. It's straight deserted. Nice. What well, out was easy. Gives us a little bit of extra food as well. Nice. It does suck we have to build this all the way up from scratch, but it's okay. We'll put you in here. And then I guess I will cancel that for now. Um, yeah. I guess I'm making a stupendous amount of income from industry here. If we pop in... Oh, I can't. Oh yeah, I can't. Sorry, I'm looking at the wrong thing. You here. I can make some money there. Right, so you are going to go attack them right now, but that's clearly a bad idea since they're really fucking close. So let's just encamp here. Then we can build something here, but I don't want to build that. So we can build something here, probably the same. Nope, that's that, but I don't want to build that because I don't wait a turn, because otherwise I'm just wasting money. Although it's not a lot, but it, there's still no reason to waste it. No reason at all. Okay. So we are positive income. And I'm pretty sure all of our deals have now run out, except for the one that we current. No, we are still 2.3k from diplomacy. What the fuck else are we making money from again? Who in their right mind is paying me money? Oh, you, right. Uh, yeah, 670 from that. Okay, so we actually are, if diplomacy all falls through, we are broke again. Once more we find ourselves broke. But that's like nine turns from now, at which point we should be able to sell more food again to Liu Biao. That guy's a fucking cash cow, dude. Late game. It's insane. We're getting 89 money from him. Okay, 89 monies. All of the monies. All right. Uh, no quick deals, as far as I'm aware. I could do some friendly peace, non-aggression pack stuff, but... Yeah. Eh, I would make vassals if I could. Never mind. Nope, not become. Create. Gongshen Zan. I would totally vassalize him just to annex him later and take his characters. I would totally be up for that. Duchy of Zhang is just straight up yes on the uh, coalition now. I think we'll wait, because I might be able to get more money from that uh, in 10 turns as well. Right, so you're going there with your handmaid's guard. You're going here. Uh, or you have gone here. Next turn we're going to attack that, you attack that. And then you're going to be able to defend against that or attack them, depending on what they do. They may even attack me, but I don't know why they would. That'd be stupid. You want to die or something? Um... We are only have three turns of that left over. We uh, are running out of actual things here. We still need to do jewels. Then we need to get two rank five or higher commanders. Right, I was going to use the... That's what I was going to do, this stuff. So rank five or higher commanders, I think that's the next goal. So we're going to use that on you. Because if you level up twice, we can do it again next turn and then she'll be level five. Because she would have leveled up right now to level four. So we do it next turn on her again. She will then become level five and then that's another one completed. Although I don't think that one gives us any bonuses. I actually haven't given weapons out to you yet either. You need something better. So currently Sun Chuan actually has the authority one. Because I wanted to do that for that. Do I lose... Yeah, I lose one satisfaction faction wide. That's okay. Um, so you're going to equip that one next turn. You're also going to get some better weapons. Although... What weapons might I give you? I'm not that keen on either of these, I suppose, but fuck it. I'll take these ones anyway, because they're cool. Uh, you get a horse, and we have nothing there. We have ha we, the entire stream, we haven't received a single one of these items yet. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Anyway, we still haven't done your level up yet. Um, so you are gonna get. Range block chance for melee camps is actually really good because we don't have much yet. So yeah, we'll take that first because we are using a handmade guard, so that's really good. Okay, so we do that again next turn when we have more. I'm pretty sure it costs 50, so we can't do it right now. No. Um, yeah, we'll do that again. She will level up to level 5, and then we'll do, that will complete another one of those. Um, that one. Then we need. What is this? Have two rank 4 female commanders. We'll have one. So I guess the next person to level up after that would be Lady Wu to level 5, because that would complete this. Um, as well as um, the Legacy of Wu one, which is the Lady Wu. I need to have Lady Wu, or Lady Soon, which currently... I've not discovered this character yet. Hold on, is, not that, is that not her? Is that someone else? Are we supposed to marry someone and then they become that? Who is Lady Soon? Tell me. Because that's a pretty decent reward as well. 
Then we still need to get 160 more 40, 160 more resolve. But yeah, again, that's you are going are closest to that. You're pretty close actually. Um, and then <clears throat> the other one was a 40, was it? Pretty sure you're closest to that. Yeah, it was still fairly far away. So, eh. Uh, and then that's actually it. This is like that super late game thing. That's never gonna happen. Oh, we need to take Jiangling and Xiangyong, but that's yeah, whatever. Actually, that's not even that bad to be honest. And this, did I skip over a bunch? What the fuck? Lady Soon as soon says, "Oh right, of course, idiot." Right, okay, that's um. She, when is she coming of age? Uh, like two hundred seven or something, isn't it? Yeah, okay, still not not for a little while yet. Or 208, I'm not sure. Anyway, right, let's fucking end the turn already. Soon when, yeah. How did I forget about her? It's like, dumb. Anyway, yeah, so she. Oh my god, I'm invited into the coalition. Now that I'm making friends of your enemy, you want to invite me into this coalition? To bring balance. Um, I mean, it doesn't even say who's part of this, but I, I'm assuming it's. Yeah, it's Cao Cao. I don't know why Dutch Chief Song likes me for this, but sure, I'll, I'll take that. Let's be friends. Alright, so I'm in a coalition now. Uh, doesn't probably make uh, you want Shu like me less, but whatever. I have a coalition now, you little best bitch. Did you know that Mahatir is the oldest leader in the world? I don't even know what a Mahatir is, so no. Faction succession, some dickhead. Ha Chi is Ha Hao Chi is dead. Dong Jun Fang is dead. I don't even know who all these people are. Oh my god, they were hogging a bunch of characters though. Look at this guy. I almost want to hire him to take his gear and then throw him away again, but I will not. I cannot. There's Hao Chi. Oh man, I almost want to hire him just for the fucking. Um, Oh, we got killed by Kong Rong, okay. For the uh, minus five corruption later on, but probably not gonna bother. I do need to keep an eye out for Lady Sentinels that are level five. Oh, there's one her there as well, level three. Level three. I could technically hire her and make her level five. I'm not that fussed about it yet, though. Okay, let's hold off on that for now. I am before I forget, man. We get so much shared expertise per turn, it's insane. 20 per turn. Uh, I'm gonna level you up again. Which will actually make this um, spy thing better as well. Plus three now. And that will finish off that other thing. When uh, Next turn, it'll probably happen. What are you gonna get? So charge bonus is good. Uh, don't care about that. Melee armor piercing damage, melee attack rate, that's good. Mending. Oh shit, that's pretty sweet. Okay, I think we're gonna go up here first. Uh, and also, I need to give you that item. So you're gonna get this thing now. Okay. Right. Uh, I'm pretty sure I gave all, yeah I gave items to you guys already, but I just didn't have anything to give you. Unfortunately, you got the red sisters already. You got already got them. Yeah. Okay. Blah blah blah. Right. So there's an army there. And there's an army there as well, so yeah, I think it's time for war. You've been fully replenished, basically, except for soon, uh, so still almost dead. I'm gonna build that now. You can also build something here, but I don't want to build that, so that's all good. Uh, you are going to run into Changsha. Can you walk in there normally? Nope. So no replenishment. Oh, there's that army, actually. Oops. Um... Well, if I attack them right now and they sail away, that I guess that's fine. I think we might siege them out because it's a salt mine, but I'll fight this one immediately. Especially because his army is half dead right now. I do wonder though, because I, did they just recruit this army? Because they all have exactly the same number. So I'm pretty sure they just recruited this one. Yes, there's another army right there. That's what I was looking for. Okay, that's kind of rough. If they attack this, I'll, I'll just lose it immediately. Fuck me, three armies right here. Those yellow turbans, man. They're insane. I can't really not do anything about this though. Uh, I could recruit someone in here. I don't know if it'd be enough. What kind of armies is this? This is a... Like... It's got a bunch of peasant stuff in there, but it's also got a bunch of decent units in there. Who could I recruit? That's the main question I guess I have. 
Lua Jun is a um, pretty beast. Holy shit, look at this guy and his fucking units. Okay, I think, yeah, I think we definitely recruit Lua Jun and maybe Zhu Tai or something. Um, that, that, that would probably be enough. It, it is a rice paddy, so it's actually pretty easy to defend. Because you got, you can, you can hold the, and the, um, the two entrance points really easy, easily. Uh, he's the fourth and seventh prime minister of Malaysia. Okay. I have friends. I have friends. I do have friends. I haven't even looked at my friends' lands yet. Friends' lands? Um, yeah, my friends are doing alright. There's Liu Bia himself. With some uh, Zhang, Majin, Zhang Majan infantry. That name is so good. There's another Yellow Turban army, but that's not too close to me. Although, are, who are you at war with Yellow Turbans? Cao Cao, Lu Bu, Duchy of Song, Liu Bia. Okay, so they're basically at war with everyone. Um, all right, I think I'm still gonna do it. Do it. I might, I, I might even fight this one right away, but I don't know because it is a salt mine. Also, can I get someone to pay me to join their war? Uh, yo, it's outside. I have no deals with you right now. I will join your war. Oh, you wanna make it? Oh man, if we do this, actually, I think if we do this, he will leave, right? Because he doesn't agree with it. I think that's how it works. But either way, I don't really want to do that. I don't think I can actually make him... Or I, can, I can't ask him to join the war. Because it would be under here, right? It's sad, so I want their wars. Uh, Lu Bu. What about you? No. Can I not? Just do that? You can't ask people to join a war? Or to like to help them in their war against some dickhead. Uh, I guess not. Young Feng. Let me just check that one actually real quick. No. All right, fine. Then I will not do that. I will just declare war on you because I want to. Uh, do I auto resolve this or fight it manually? It is a walled settlement, but I think because we have a trebuchet, we have fire arrows as well now. We're probably gonna fight that one manually, so we'll do that in a second. Oh man, check his stats. Sure. Sure. Ah, oh, well, there you go. Uh, yeah, we don't get C stats, unfortunately. Wonder where they're gonna go, because they could sail away and be quite annoying actually, but we'll be okay, I think. You are going to besiege this, even though we're not fully replenished. It's mostly soon said, the rest of the army is fine. Chi Chi, woman to Chi Chi. Crushing the fucking defeat. Are you. or what? Hello? Um. Give it to me. Oh my god! <laughs> Never expected that one in my life. What the fuck? Okay, that works out. Hey, you want to give this one to me as well for free? Oh, thanks, my friend. Very kind. Alright. Alright. That's good. I mean, I don't know if there's any reason to... Like, if there's any real point in killing them, because... Oh, can we get there in one... No, we can't. I thought we could get there in one turn, but the one was hidden behind that thing. Well, that was uh, unexpected. Holy shit. Thanks. Wait. Oh, that was this... But fuck me, these fucking places suck, dude. Uh, let's build up this town first. Okay. What the fuck, yeah. I didn't expect that. It was in our favor, but it was apparently they were going to win it. It was like, it was a crushing defeat or something as well, wasn't it? Um, but apparently the, uh, the they were like, nah, let's not. We are yellow turbans. We, we value our men too much. Uh, I can't recruit you Thai anymore if I do this. I'm still going to recruit this man here though. And I can recruit Han Dang, which I guess is okay. I'll take this man. You, you Han Dang, take this man to be your... I'll, recruit, I'll keep the two units as well. Let me equip these boys with the latest gear in all of Japan, uh, China, sorry. Um, so that they can do well in their murdering of the opponents. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. Is this 
15.1 or the 1.5.01? I have no idea. I'm, on the, I'm just on the latest patch, whatever that is. Let me check. Uh, freaking, okay, how the fuck do I even bother checking this? Because I'm not... Oh, yeah, there's a rollback. I saw that. I'm not on the rollback. Uh, I feel, oh, unless I am. Uh, if that's the basic one, or is that a... Hold on, let me check the betas. Oh, it's not letting me check that right now. Okay, I can't check. I guess because I'm in-game, it doesn't let me actually go down that little menu. But I'm on just the, the latest normal patch. I'm not on the beta patch. So I don't know. Uh, anyway, we have done that. So yeah, we've, we've built this army. I don't know if we're going to be able to hold them, but we're going to give it a... A right fucking try. You guys are just gonna run up that way and try and take that out soon. Um, actually, one of you is. I think one of you will just go this way and start bringing these sons back from the dead. We are making almost no money. Although when I get rid of these guys, I'll make a little bit more again. But still, you know what? I'm tempted to just get rid of these guys. Two units isn't gonna do much. A thirteen men each. If they were full units, I would. Oh, actually, hold on. I can't afford that. Can I? No, I definitely can't because I have no money. If I have, so if I had some money, I could get the. No, I can't, because it's not high enough level. Really? Yeah, the mercenary units, because they spawn full health. If I could cancel a building and actually recruit a couple of those uh, mercenary infantry, just to have a couple of actual units <laughs> at full HP, might make the difference between life and death. So let's cancel this and actually do that. Uh, yeah, let's get three of them. Fuck me, I'm like making no money whatsoever. It's okay. I do have a decent bit of food, so I could really consider selling some food to people now. Anyone who's on, like, really low food or something. You're very poor, but you're probably also just very poor. Yeah. Kong Rong. Uh, he wants some food. 2.3. I don't think I'm going to be able to get much. No, it's not going to do anything. Uh, you've got tons of food. You are equal in food, apparently. You, I already have a food deal with. Uh, you are on zero food, and you look quite rich. Nope, not that one. Oops. Nope. Well, you look quite rich, but you're uh, apparently also stingy as fuck. You have some money. 1.7 isn't the worst start, but it's probably still not going to be much. No, that's never going to be anything. Uh, you are rich and equal, which means you don't really need food. Nope, definitely can't. Well, I guess I could maybe sell one food to him. Because I can get 1.5 for the first food, I think. Unless it's 1.1, yeah. So, uh, that's not gonna... No, there's no way. Uh, yeah, okay, this is not gonna happen. Whatever, let's get out of here. That is quite the offer. Who the fuck is Zhang Yang? I think he's about to be my enemy, is who he is, but uh, I, do, I would like to... Oh, he's up here. He's a vassal as well. Am I trading with him? That might be the reason why I wouldn't want to do this, but I have no idea whether I'm trading with him or not. I am. That's That icon means I'm trading with him, right? I mean, I still make money, and I could sell my trade to someone else. I would be untrustworthy, though. But my god, that is quite the offer. I'm not gonna lie. I guess I could see it here, right? Zhang Yan. Yeah. 640. Fuck me, that's a rich one, too. Um, Man, that is an offer of a fucking lifetime, dude. Can't even change anything, by the way. I'd accept so as to have good relations, Sasa. And eh, if we reject, he doesn't mind. He doesn't hate us or something. It's like the problem is that that's a really good trade, and we've already seen recently that every time I try to get a new trade, the max I can get is like 400, 450 bucks per turn. So while I would make a lot of money right now. I would lose a lot of money over time from having worse trade with people. So I feel like I'm actually just going to reject this. It sounds like a pretty good deal, but if we, if I wasn't trading with him, immediately fucking do it, but I am, so. 
I don't want to. Sorry, it's hard, sir. Playing 3k while also watching Donkey play. You're a good man. What happened to my income and treasury? I built another army. An all-female army. Okay, they didn't attack us. Oh no, Ho Yi is dead. If only I could recruit him. He'd be in my faction on, in a heartbeat. Alright, there's that one done. Because we upgraded her. That Xiao. Uh, cool. An exquisite weapon. Is it though? Or is it just not our fucking... Oh, it is a fucking exquisite weapon. Hello. The Black Dragon. Who was that from in history? If anyone. Uh, I'm, I imagine it would be. Uh, I think in this campaign it might just be hers though. Dragon Storm. What? Walking. Waking Dragon. Uh, what was Zhuge Liang's name again? Wasn't he the. Dragon something? There's a fledgling, fledgling phoenix. That was Pong Tong. And then Zhuge Liang was the sleeping dragon? Right? So maybe it was his. Although that would, that's a black. I don't know. Either way, you have uh, Liu Chong's crossbow. Uh, you haven't actually got anything. You got a fucking water clock. <laughs> Totally forgot I gave that to you at some point. Um, Taishi Chi, of course, has his own bow as well. Breath and Wind, that's actually his though. No one? So, okay, so, whatever then. Uh, yeah, I think I'll give it to you. I'll give it all up for you. Here you go. Just so you have something as well. Because you're not even fucking legendary yet. I mean, you are technically because you're a named character, but you don't actually have. That's You are really fucking trash. Don't you? Do, do you know that? You're not much better, to be fair, Lufan. This is one of those unique weapons. Zhuge Liang is the Sleeping Dragon. Yeah, okay. The Sleeping Dragon. Uh, he's 71 in target faction. Okay, I hope he's also happy in mine. Who's leveled up? You. Lua Jin. You're gonna get that. Gotta get that. Um, don't want you. Get the fuck out of my face. Build some buildings. Our income is still absolutely tremendously terrible. And we have two more assignments available and two more administrators available. Is anyone here a good administrator? I'm pretty sure they are not. Still though, minus corruption and income from all sources could still be pretty decent. So, you get some happiness from it at least. Although, is anyone else here a really good... That's really annoying. Currently assign employed as an assignee. Okay. Uh, nope. You actually are really good. I have no one to replace you up here, though. It gives me more... Oh, and that gives me more administrators. So if, I, if I take him out of here, he's going to immediately be fired because we're only allowed to have two administrators at that point. Uh, okay, so that doesn't work, unfortunately. He is fucking great at this, though. That's really annoying. I have to somehow figure out how to do that in a different way. Um, you're pretty good as well. Income from industry, commerce, silk, and spice. You're pretty good. We get we lose the starting rank for all recruits. I don't really give a fuck about that. I'm not gonna lie. See, I think I might just pull them out of that. What do you get exactly? You are basically the same except construction costs. He produces about forty percent. That's insane. Yeah, I can't check him for some reason. Nor you. You are wow plus ten percent corruption. Nice one. Xu Yu is pretty good as well. Uh, that gives me more trade agreement. Okay, I can't. That's another one of those things. I can't remove him out of there. I wish you could just like switch people around like instantly because if I remove him, we lose all that trade, and then I would have to get the trade like I, it. Yeah, if I put someone else in there, I could get the trade back again, but I would lose them before I could actually re respond to it basically. So I think I'll take him though. Uh, no one else was good, right? You were all fucking pieces of shite. Yeah, I'll put you in there. Where though? Twenty two hundred. Yeah, that one. I can't believe I haven't got anyone here yet. That's going to make me a lot of money. So I do want another person in there, but I'm not too fussed about it. You can go in there. You are going to get ranked up soon, so I guess that's okay. You don't do anything right now. Um, oh, I see. You can be an assignee as well as um, in office now. I'm pretty sure before you couldn't. Either You were either one or, or the other. Not both. Okay, so besides um, Cheng Pu and Zhu Yu, I have no one else who's good for this. Also, if you become a higher level, I imagine I will get... Oh, no, it's rank 8. Never mind. I was going to say, if it's rank 7, I wouldn't level him up again, because then we get another trade-in uh, agreement. 
and that's good money, but no. So yeah, I'll put you in here because you're going to get ranked up soon anyway. How much do I have? Share the cookies for you. I can't do it right now though. Okay, so we're on 1,351 income, so that's just gained us like a thousand bucks or something. Uh, you are going to start running this way ASAP. Can we get there next turn. You are going to run this way. Maybe I should have done the other way around, but it's okay. You're going to actually sprint because you're full HP. And now I'm in a fucking rush. I'm going to get rid of this army sooner rather than later, but I'll keep it for now and make sure they don't attack you just yet. I could, however, sprint you over and then attack with this army. And do you have night battles in there? That's the most important. I can't see. Dude, that would be a problem if they have night battles. The other thing is, however, that if I were to do this, I could possibly just make them give me the town again for free. That would work as well. Uh, and then you, I guess, while we're uh, discussing what to do with people, you need to go kill this army. Apparently it's super far in my favor. Is it actually, though? I guess we'll find out. You might just run away. Yes. Well, that's unfortunate. Can you help me out? Can you just kill her, please? That would be very kind. Alright, I'm going to test this fury. It's a bit risky, but it speeds things up. So if you run over there, and you attack it, and then you just give it to me. Damn it. Okay, well... I guess we really hope they haven't got night battles now, because otherwise we are really just fucked there. Uh, oh boy, I can't remember these fucking images. Fire arrows, that's not night battles though. Okay, that's one. That's two. Okay, I don't think they've got night battles. I can also just attack it right away. It's level two town, it's walled, but... We'd be tired, so I think I'll wait a turn. They're not taking attrition yet, though. Wait, how are they not taking attrition? How's that? Oh, okay. They actually have enough supplies to last the turn. Okay. I guess it's a town. Makes sense. Anyway, I'll be back in just a second. I gotta pee real quick. see my awesome merchandise shirt by the way the I want you for the Yari wall pretty sweet I'm actually gonna be getting some uh, or getting gonna be having someone design some uh, some free kingdoms inspired stuff at some point in the not too distant future I think chair stream he's gone well actually he's, yeah, he's right he's right here he's with us also, I closed my door. That was a mistake. Now my dog's going to be scratching on the door like, Hey, let me in, let me in. Uh, anyway. I am going to end the turn. I think we're good to go. We're on 149 now. We're just we're almost at 150. That is how numbers work, after all. Um, but yeah, we'll be there next turn, which is pretty cool. Become a vassal. It's great. It's not really what I want. Oh, wow. That's actually a maybe. I could actually make this happen. Yeah, I'd have to guarantee autonomy of a bunch of towns. Never, I'm not going to do it, but it's interesting that I could do that. Gongsun Zan. 
Eh. If I do this, I don't want to guarantee autonomy. Right. Uh, let's end the turn. What is this? What are you trying to tell me? All right, one more. Yes, okay, I don't want to do that. Although I... Hold on. Can I check? No. I haven't got the money, that's why. I was going to say, I, I might want to check if I can actually recruit someone... Uh, from outside who could become an administrator. Maybe maybe there's some decent people in there. You want me to become your vassal? And we get peace and a bunch of shit. Get the fuck out of my face. How long's the stream? Uh, I'm probably done with it now in like an half an hour or something like that. I'm not gonna go on for too much longer. Holy shit! That's level 10. Also... Oh shit, wait. It's not a knife. Oh, he's just not in range. Uh oh, this is real bad, actually. Well, let me retreat. And hope that this works out somehow. Okay, he didn't come out and attack me. Thank fuck for that. My god, there's way more yellow turbans remaining than I thought there were. Jesus Christ, this could be a real problem, actually. Uh, Ma Tong left a coalition of Duchy of Song. Okay, that's probably good. You are uncomplicated and vain. Wow. Can't even afford to do that. Okay, let's get the government support building here. It's nice and cheap. Uh, I want to be able to make sure I can still upgrade the town here, which we can do. I'm going to remove you now from the face of the earth. Let me uh, remove the units as well. And you guys as well, so you're also free to recruit whenever I want. Let me get uh, these items off of you. Those aren't yours, as it turns out. Actually, I think you're wearing that. Okay, get out of here. Uh, you get to keep your armor and weapon because you came with those. Uh, and I think the horse as well. Because you're definitely going to be the next melee character I recruit. Or like infantry character, I believe. I mean, even. Uh, so you can also just fuck right off, my man. Get out of here. Okay, and you're just going to attack this now. And I guess I can't. I can still demand surrender. Please, if this works. Okay, that'd be ridiculous. Uh, do I attack this right away? Do I make him take attrition? Um, I think we don't attack this right away, especially because Soon says almost well, he's half dead right now. I can't really do any crazy shenanigans of sending in the generals by themselves. It's three hours now, yeah. Yeesh. Okay, you're gonna keep going this way. We need like four grand to make this. Uh, back from deserted, so I don't know how well that's gonna go actually. I could skip past it and go straight towards this guy, just attack him. Um, if I do that, then it means that he's gonna be the one to go through all these towns. Really, what I should do is recruit a single character. I should have kept Luo Jun running around taking these towns. That's what I should be doing. Yeah, you know what? I think that's what I will be doing. Let's just run straight past this place. Can't afford it right now, anyway. Um, and we'll recruit Lua Jun or something next turn, we'll just run around. Or even that other guy, the one we just, uh, uh, Han Dang, because he's less important. We'll have him run around and take those, to buy those towns up, basically. You're going to have to keep chasing this. I do get more movement in my own, when I start in my own water. Oh my fucking god, dude, that's so dumb. <laughs> now I know why they're not running away. Look at how far that is in my favor. Just look at that shit. What is this fucking based on? <laughs> That's so dumb. It's so far in my favor. Look at that shit. It's more than halfway there on my side. No, no. It's going to be a crushing defeat, actually. Okay. Fair enough. Alright. What do I even do? Do I jump out of the water or do I keep... Because if I stay here... And she attacks me. I run away. She attacks me again. We lose this fucking army here. That's so dumb. Um, was it Guo Jia's daughter in your campaign? That was absolutely trash. In which campaign? You fucking what? Uh, okay, so we got yeah, we got a bunch of nothing going on. We are making a good amount of money right now. That's good. East, very nice. We can get peace with the yellow turbans. You know what? If I were to take, uh, I guess I'd want to take that as well, which. Uh, hmm. 
Can I? I can't negotiate with them, can I now? Because I'd like to at least take this town first. That one I can get over not having yet, I guess. Because we can just expand elsewhere around it first. Although I do want it at some point soon. But yeah, I think we want it. We definitely want to take this town. And then I think I might just peace out with them. Just before it becomes an actual problem, you know. Zangba, you're actually... You're a vassal. How are you still alive, even? Uh, oh man, we can have a vassal for free. I don't even know who this guy is. He's over here. Who are you at war with? Liu Biao. Okay. Let me... Um, <laughs> pay me to be your, my vassal, you son of a bitch. Um, got any ancillaries instead? Because this is pretty shit. It's not a lot of money right there. This is really fucking bad. We're gonna get 125 exactly, I can tell you right now. Yeah. 126 is minus 0.1. Yep. Okay. Um, I mean, we're still getting money from it. We have to negotiate peace for him, but I, I'm sure that will work out. Um, I'm not gonna guarantee autonomy, obviously. <laughs> for an ultimatum. Fucking become my vassal! But I already want him to be your vassal! <laughs> Alright. I don't think I want him as a vassal necessarily, but... Uh, yep, yeah, okay, peace sign him automatically. I thought you have to, like, negotiate it, but apparently that's just totally fine. Okay, so we have as a vassal... Wait. Oh, don't tell me he's out of land. No, he wasn't, though, was he? Guanji. No, he owns this. I just... Why do I not get vision on it? He's my vassal. I should have vision. Oh, well. Now there's a bunch of other people that might want to become a vassal. But you've shown them. Okay, we already saw all those, and they're not really realistic offers. Playing Liu Bei and made Kong Rong surrender everything to me, even though he was a friend. I'm in ultimatum, but does a penalty of ultimatum disappear eventually, or is it just permanent? I don't know. I actually have never done that before. CV in the Goja campaign. Which fucking. I've never. Goja isn't a playable character. You mean the Luji campaign, where he became emperor? Um. I have no, I can't remember, dude. Dude, uh, also, I recruit, I, yeah, we got this guy for free just now, didn't we? I don't want you. Who the fuck do you think you are? Get the fuck out of my faction, man. Bulan. I've had him for a couple turns as well, never even realized. He's not supposed to be here. We have 15 on expertise. Alright, let's get, uh, who's next? Lady Wu, right? I kind of want to make him level 8 ASAP, to be honest, because getting him to level 8 gives me another trade agreement and more trade influence, but that's not as relevant. What do you get at the end? Available armies, I don't care. I don't give a fuck. Food production and no. Construction cost and construction time. Plus zero. <laughs> Plus one construction time. It takes longer to build shit. Nice. That's not bad either, actually. Uh, you get that health and ability recharge rate. You get the level up, like plus one recruitment thing. Actually, no, I mean, that's level five. The first one is just discipline for all my units, which is okay, I guess. But I think we're going to go for you. Getting construction cost reduction and uh, construction time reduction is actually pretty good as well. So let's take expertise with you. Here you are. Um, then you're going to get that one first. And also, upgrading, sorry, or leveling up her isn't even that relevant anymore, because I, I thought she was Lady Sue, but of course she isn't. So the only thing I would level her up for would be to get this, to have female commanders level 4. So I, I, I guess I still want to do it, but I'm not as fussed about it anymore, because that's the only thing that we'd get from that. So, uh, I wonder what they've got in here, because it's just a town. If there's no army there, which there probably isn't, I could build a small army here just to go take it, but I don't know how well that would go. Honestly, if I just recruit two characters, not you, uh, Lua Jun and Han Dang, if I just recruit them two, they might just be enough. If there's no army there, there's only a garrison in level two town, they could just walk in and take it, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. I might have a look at that next turn. He's playing Sun Tzu. Fun compared to others, how high do you rank him on a scale of 10? Oh boy, uh, I don't know, like an 8 or something? Uh, I, I mean, most factions are fun in their own way. Sun Tzu is interesting because of the reckless luck thing, but we've basically gone around that. Like, we already have positive reckless luck now. Um, 
technically we only have 11 of course this is going to go away next turn finally and then it'll, it'll just be 11 so we only have plus one per turn but we basically can't die from it anymore so it's just like basically a non-existent thing now that just gives me a bunch of bonuses the rest of the game um anyway we gotta end this fucking turn i keep doing nothing man oh, i was gonna say he's running rampant but he's getting besieged here by two armies so i think they're gonna take that back take that back where is that army going why are you running oh there's my uh, dude my my uh, zhao zhong guy or zhao zhao zhu zhu um government support hey we did it victory we have he's leading an army as well look at that I haven't done any kind of spy stuff with him yet oh that's not i do spy stuff although i have a reform available as well Go do some, uh, some stuff. It's going up a five per turn. It's going up a six per turn. So you spend 30 of that to get that further up, right? That's how you do that shit. Or was it this one? It was this one, right? And then that one goes up by 25. But this one makes that one go up faster per turn, I believe. So we do that first. What the fuck? Okay, so if we do, <laughs> well, that was I just spent thirty on nothing. Holy shit! Their 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 cover is <laughs> their like cover cost increase is uh, pretty fucking high. An extra thirty, I didn't expect that. All right, well he's still okay for now. Be a shame if he got executed right there. Ooh, Cheng Pu expertise. I think I already have a gar character with high expertise. So actually, in fact, he's insane now. He already had like eighty something percent melee evasion. He's at 180. He is a 90% melee evasion. My god, this guy's a fucking master duelist now. Sun Tzu ranked up as well. Nice. Uh, you haven't even got those things yet. You're leading the army, right? That is terrible. Okay, give me that, and then I want that one afterwards. Okay. Uh, yeah, he got promoted to a general. Okay. Right. We want to upgrade this first and foremost. Foist and foremost, uh, and then I guess we're gonna upgrade that for a better garrison. Okay, right. So you can either keep chasing the army indefinitely, or just ignore it because it doesn't seem to even want to attack me anymore, or maybe attack me elsewhere where I don't care about being attacked. So you're gonna go this way and try and get to that place as soon as possible, and just take it. Take it, Kendall. You must take it. There, Lady Wooler ranked up, so she got a bonus now. Let's go for that. I don't think she's ever going to even be in action, so it doesn't really matter that much. But yeah, she now gives us discipline, I believe. Yep, so if, I, if she gets to level 5, she will give starting recruit rank stuff. 22 per turn, holy fuck. Han Dang is unhappy again. I could, again, I could recruit him here. Um, and maybe take that without even needing this army, but I think since it's on the way, let's just let it be. Uh, oh, we're talking about Corona again. I suppose it originated in China, so not the craziest Shit. thing to talk about when you're playing this game. Still sieging them out. They're gonna start, start taking attrition this turn though, so that's all good. We are going to go for corruption reduction now. Start increasing that income. These things are two turns away from being done. I think all three of them, yeah. Um, so when that's done, we'll be upgrading them again. And then we're going to make a shitload of money. Well, not a shitload, but we're going to make a lot more money than we are right now. So that's good. Um, okay. I haven't got a thousand bucks, so I once again can't actually check this. If, if you even can check that, I'm not even sure. So let's not worry about that. We have... Um, Moved all the armies. I don't want to do this battle here. I really wish Sun Tzu was fully, fully healed at least. But yeah. I do want to see him in action though. If I can duel someone with him with a 90% melee evasion. Definitely fucking doing it. He's got great weapons as well. So he does do a lot of damage as well. Uh, yeah, it's like no, no reason to go for anything else. I just need an expertise horse on him now. And he'll be even more ridiculous. He'll be insane if I get an expertise horse on him. Holy shit. He does have some insane items, to be fair. Anyway, enough. And enough is enough.
let's get a move on. I'm a little bit worried about that army there. Ooh, Duchy of Zhong into our coalition. Oh man. Um, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> oh, he doesn't even want it. So even if he's accept, he's still not going to join anyway. Yeah, I'll accept. He rejected it though. On on point four, so he was almost up for it. That would have been an insane coalition. No one could have ever beaten us. Insane. No idea where our army is going. They could be annoying as well. But we just need to get to that town. I just want to take that town and the one over here and then we're good. Uh, Zhu Tai got wounded. That's that guy is not currently in action, so I guess that's okay. Did he, oh, don't tell me he picked up a stupid fucking trait. No, I don't think he did. A friend in need. You hear a tale of boundless courage in your ranks. One of your generals rides bravely to the aid of his friends, who is moments away from death's cold touch, weathering many blows to defend their comrade. In the aftermath, the stock... You take stock of what you have heard and seen. Apparently, two people who weren't even in an army. Oops, that should have checked that, but it's okay. They weren't even in the army, and they uh, they they had that happen, but okay, it's fine. Uh, you are just a generic dickhead. Don't care. And Han Shin. Pretty sure I checked the other one first. It doesn't matter. They're both shit. Uh, new faction capital for South Sao. I'm guessing you took this back. Yes. Okay, there's a full stack over there, but there's plenty of armies from him laying around there as well, so we should be okay. All right, you're going to keep going this way. I don't think we're going to be able to attack it next turn, but the turn after that we might be able to do so. Do I have military access with you or something? No, like, I'm pretty sure also I'm allowed to attack them now without any repercussions, so that's good. You are going to go here. Just normal movement. We could definitely attack the next turn, so we will certainly do so. There's an army there, but that's okay. Oh wow, they're okay, they're not doing too hot, apparently, as it turns out. Okay. Uh rice patties were done here. Let's get this up to level four now. And what else can we build? God, I miss the times where we just had stupid amounts of money laying around. Those were the days, as they say. But it's okay. Uh okay. Okay, okay, we have more shared expertise we can do again. Do I want to upgrade Xu Yun now to level 8? Start working my way up to level 8 anyway. I think I will. I could also get Han Dang. Character salary, oh shit, yeah, that's a great one actually. Let's share expertise with him. Because that'll give me, oh, it's only 2% more character salary reduction. Wow, it went from 10%, wait, hold on. Yeah, it did upgrade already, or update already. Went from 10% to 12%, that's rank. What the fuck? Now he's probably even less happy as well. No, he doesn't care. Uh, Flays of the Phoenix, there you go. He does. He could certainly do with a title or something. Let's do that. Also, I have low satisfaction. Well, not, not high satisfaction now because of that as well. So uh, Here is an extra... Let's just do that. Nah, let's give him that one. Fuck it. Okay. That might be getting, getting back up to high satisfaction across the board. Hey, what have I missed and been loving your Bound Lord campaigns? Well... What you missed depends on when the last time is you were watching, but um, basically just expanding in the south further and further. We build our third army this campaign as well, or this, this episode, I mean the stream. We are aboard the Yellow Turbans now, who could be annoying, but I think we'll be okay. I just need two more turns basically, so I can take that town and that town, and then I don't mind piecing out with them, which they already want to do, so that will work out. Although I wonder if they'll still want it once I've done with those two towns. This army's losing men as well. That's good. What about you? Are you still okay? Yeah, they're fine. Right, anyway. End that turn. Uh, we are inviting Ma Tong into the coalition. Everyone's saying yes. Alright, fine. Let's do it. Welcome, Ma Tong, to our coalition. I haven't even fucking seen the guy yet in the campaign. He is apparently one of the strongest factions in the game, though, to be fair. So I guess being or having a vast uh, um, coalition with Matang might not be that bad. Could even see about upgrading this to a military alliance, but I think Liu Biao was like severely opposed to that before. Severely opposed. There's another army. Oh shit! There's an army. Oh hold on, what the fuck? An army right here. This one's the one that's taking damage. Yeah. Uh, okay. Gong Shenzhen signed peace with Duchy of Gong Song even. Ding dong. Ready for duty, you tie. All my copper mines are upgraded. Yeah, I can't even afford to upgrade a single one to this. 
but we will do it ASAP. Okay, now the most important thing, can you reach this in a single turn? I'm pretty sure the answer is no, but... Oh, so close. Because it is very risky. If I don't do this right now, they might just take this trade port here. Although this is, has a pretty sizable garrison, although it's still replenishing. I think we're going to take our two boys and put them in here. Just the boys alone. Uh, I might recruit one or two units, actually, but... Because then we should be able to hold off these two, even if they all attack at the same time. Because that army is basically dead. Well, not, not really, but you know what I mean. Um, I'm going to just wait here another turn as well. Because there's no reason, you know, if I'm not going to peace out with them just yet, I might as well just wait another turn. So we'll, we'll wait one more turn, we'll attack them next turn. I could already do this with medium losses, which is okay, but... Just wait one more turn, there's no rush. Uh, you, however, are going to attack these dickheads right now, so... You are at war with Liu Bia, but I'm pretty sure we've already tried to try this before. I can't, like, join a war against the vassal or something. No, it's not even here. Well, in that case, just give me your time. It's as easy as that. Can I auto the Oh, wow, that is... Oh, yeah, right, his army is basically dead. I forgot about that. Again, this is the faction we were at war with before, and then we took their final time. We peaced out with them, and then he became a vassal of... The Duchy of Song, and then they somehow took a town and actually built up again, although their army now is basically just gone. Uh, I think we're just going to auto resolve this. Could be a fun little fight, but not really. Delegate that. Wang Long is in South Satisfaction? Oh, what the fuck. What a dickhead. Alright. Uh, faction destroyed. See you later. See you later. Oh, right, we got that. Uh, I don't think anyone actually wants that. Oh, yeah, you do. There you go. Are you an administrator? Might be. No, you're not. You're a Grand Commandant. Commandant? I never know how to pronounce that. Okay. Uh, upgrade the livestock farm, too. Why not? Okay. So, all we got to do now is take this here, take that there, and then we can piece that with the yellow turbans again. And then you, I don't know what to do with exactly, because I guess we can attack this faction here. They've got two towns. Be a decent target. Um, I was going to recruit these boys down here to build up these towns, but I think more importantly is getting the copper mines up anyway. Because this is four grand per small, t like, for resource, and then eight grand, I think, for the towns. So these three things here alone are 16 grand together. And that's only to get them back from being deserted, like just to own them, basically. And then you have to actually build up the towns, of course, which is going to cost a lot more. So yeah, I think getting the copper mines up first is more important so that we get our income up. But first, I think it's time to end the turn. The next turn should be an interesting one, and then I think after that I will probably end the stream. Uh, oh, right, so yeah, Ma Tong. So yeah, he is uh, quite large in terms of territory, doing all right for himself. Where's Matang? There he, or Machao even. There he is. But yeah, still there. If he's not married yet, although I think I already know. Uh, we could marry perhaps um, soon when to him once he becomes or once she becomes available. No, he's not married yet. Okay, could be possible. Um, out of curiosity, let's see if there's anything here, but also. I want to see if I could make uh, our coalition into a military alliance. Just out of curiosity, because I don't really care that much. Uh, Cao Cao is well up for it, but Liu Bia and Ma Tang are well up against it, or well against it. I don't know what, how you fucking say that. He doesn't. They don't want it. They fucking like just get the fuck out of my face. They say. Um. Okay. Right. Let's end the turn. We have a thousand bucks to spend, but I think... Oh, right, yes, yes, I'll recruit like two units here, and that's fine. Uh, in your retinue. Not that it really matters. Just two of those, because they're f they spawn full fully healed. In violence coalition, who? Who? Declare war. Just offering, like, completely contradicting pieces of advice now. Invite them into, into your coalition. If they won't listen, declare war. War. War never changes. Much love from Delft. Oh, that's pretty close. That's pretty darn close, that is. Thank you, though, for your love. I will I will cherish it always. 
upgrade the town. Uh, let's keep doing that. Right, it is time. First of all, give me this fucking town right here. Keep it. Oh, no, no nine battles here. Okay. That's their first battle done. That. Legacy of Wood, there we go. That should give us another one turn of extra reckless luck. I want to get up to this divine favor as soon as possible, because once we get there, we will never go away from it any, uh, ever, again. Ever again. Whatever. Uh, I got a military G. Alright. Not that we need any weapons, but still. Uh, tea House, Armor Crafts, and Trade Port. Yeah, we're definitely going to go for income from commerce here, so we'll do that. Although... Eh, leave it for now. I'll do that later. Do I have a dude? Yes, Lu Meng. I guess I should put him in here, because I've got plenty of shit to build here, that's for sure. Which means I should wait, so I'll do this one first. Uh, okay, and then we have um, this battle here. Yeah, My auto was all this it. one. Yeah, it's still a close victory. Sun Tzu is still kind of fucked. I do want to do it right now, because I need to peace out with them right now. Uh, yeah, this is dedicated. Fuck it. Spies. I know, I know. I know I have a spy. Oh man, that is really good. I want to peace out with them, but my god, if I do... <laughs> that is too good not to do. Yeah, I gotta execute them. Hopefully they'll still be able to peace out with me. Otherwise, it kind of sucks. It wouldn't be worth it if I can't. But... I still have to try. I mean, that item is fucking insane. Yo, yellow turbans. How about that piece, eh? Yes, they still want a piece out. They're probably kind of unhappy about the fact that I murdered it. Oh my god, nope. They, they're totally fine with this. Um, it's a shame I can't get anything for this, but... So what kind of towns have you got left over, anyway? Can I even see any of them? Usually they own some stuff up here, but no. I think they might just be out of towns. Maybe that's why they want peace so badly. Either way. Be my friend. Uh, I can also peace out of him for free. Which would peace out... No, I don't want... Well, I wouldn't be able to attack the Han Empire, which is my next target, basically. So I can't really do that. Also, yeah, you said Wang Lung was with... Um, uh, Cao Cao. I'm gonna have a look where he is. Oh yeah, there he is. Yeah, with Cao Cao himself as well. And Cao Wang right there. Okay. Secured that commander. He killed some dudes. And we got that Celestial Sphere. Yeah, we'll definitely want to give that to someone. It's a pretty, it's a pretty nifty weapon right there. I'm gonna disband these boys again. I'll get rid of them again and then I'll re recruit one of them at least in the south. Probably Handang. Uh, so who wants that Celestial Sphere? Uh, I think that's going to go to someone who's a duelist. Not you, though. We have to be Tai Chi Chi. You've already got that. Or Cheng Pu, who's already got this snake. Man, he's already got this with Cunning as well. If I give him this, he'll be on 190 or 182. Oh boy. Knowledge of Heaven. Diviner, don't have that, though. Um. Maybe I give it to someone who has cunning. I mean, I feel like eight expertise is way more valuable than eight cunning. That's the kind of the reason or the thing that I'm thinking here. But I don't really have anyone who wants it because I don't want to give it to Tai Chi Chi because he's definitely keeping his bow. There's like no no question about that. I could give it to Cheng Pu, but then it's only an upgrade of two cunning, and then I, I wouldn't be able to give this Iron Snake to anyone. I mean, I could give it to Zhang Zhang, I suppose, but her no her expertise is so low it doesn't even do anything for her. Um, so yeah, I, just, I feel like I have to give it to someone just to make use of the actual. Cunning, so I guess we're gonna give it to Lufan instead then. Yeah, he can have it. Feels a bit of a waste, but that's okay. And then we can give this to someone else who hasn't got anything like you. No, you have something. You? No, you have something as well. Does everyone have something here? Oh yeah, hold on. You, but you're not in an army. You're a... Administrator. Uh, yeah, everyone's already got something. Okay, fair enough. Right, uh, a little bit of money left over. Can I build something useful? Oh, I most certainly can. I will actually build that. Wow, this place already has a million population. It's only level 3 town. Pretty sure I made it level 3 really recently too. I gotta upgrade that still as well. I could also save the money and save up for the copper mine, which again is pretty important. And it's only 3,850. It's not even that much. So really, I should wait. No, I'll be able to afford an expert anyway. One of them at least. Right, we'll do that. 
Um, so you now are gonna, I guess, just straight up infiltrate the Han Empire right away. You can move still, so I think we're gonna do that with you as well. Just start taking out all the Han Empire stuff. You're gonna start heading west when you're, well, next turn basically. Are you? You're at war with a bunch of people. I think we'll wait. We'll we'll leave him f for later. Just go hard on the Han Empire. Make sure they don't they get taken out real quick in a single turn. Like well, not a single turn, very quickly anyway. So we'll move you that way. Okay, end of turn. Now that I think about it, you should loot and occupy deserted towns. Uh, yeah, actually, because it yeah they can't go below level zero, so that's a good point. Just try to give more money, right? Is there any other negative to it? There's, it's not like you lose population or something, right? I suppose if that's the only thing, I guess we can find out if I attack this in a minute. Or that one even. Uh, Duchy of Song signed peace with Liu Biao. Okay. Duchy of Zhang signed peace with Liu Bu. Li Xuan signed a uh, formed coalition with Liu Zhang. Tiger Tiger. A tiger prowling in the camp panics the guards. The screams awake your general, who leaps from their tent half dressed and wrestles the beast to the ground until it is properly subdued. Moments later, another tiger's roar is heard, but it turns out to be contented snores of your general coming from his tent. Okay, we've got plus 15 morale for five turns. Sure. Understanding and honest. Nice. Nice. That's very good, actually. Very nice indeed. Military axe. Build us some buildings, but I think we're gonna spend this turn. As much as I want to upgrade more towns, I need to get these uh, copper mines up because those are gonna make me so much money when the corruption kicks in. Um, so yeah, this sorry, this town definitely needs to get upgraded soon. But and I can't build anything here that I want. That's not true. I want that. Um, what does a tea house even do again? I can't even remember. Like the how much? Hold on, can I if I do? this and then click on that so that doesn't work oh yeah, yeah there you go t t gives income from commerce as well yeah i'm thinking i might not even want a state workshop so i think i just want marketplace and private workshop and just go insane on income from commerce here because everything here is our income from commerce but either way uh you can actually you can actually reach that right away as well holy shit that's a fucking that's move and a half you're making right there okay I think we're just gonna do a declare war on the Han Empire right now. Just fucking do it. Yeah. Let's find out about this. So, yeah, you do lose population as well, actually. Make an extra 294 and more military supplies. Military supplies are basically pointless because they're always full. Income, I mean, it's a little bit more money, but you lose population. I don't think it's actually worth doing. Unless the population is zero, but eh, no. Nah, I mean, this is. Probably better do like not doing it that way and then since you can actually read something as well just fucking go take it what is an army there well not for long give me that if you conquered all deserted towns you can create duchy of wu faster i know but t you taking the conquer towns costs like I just, we talked about this we talked about this man you gotta pay attention to me sometimes it takes four grand for a small and eight grand for a big town. Sure, I would get renowned from that, but I might as well just take towns that are already established. It goes way faster. I will be building these. Like I said, I'll be recruiting a character to do so. But I'm not in a rush. Right. Uh, I think that's all I can do. Still can't build anything just by getting a little bit of money. Um, yep. So I think that's it for now I'm gonna end the stream here what heck i'm watching second time hello sherry brandy um it's deserted no population no it does have population as we just established because it's 130k although i guess that's it also depends on yeah i suppose you're right actually because it's 130k from this so it did have zero so i guess yeah you're right it, i mean the whole word deserted would you know, make you think that there is no population. So I think you are right. There's actually nothing in that actual town. I think uh, you're right. So, okay, I'll keep that in mind. Next time when I take something that's deserted, I will actually just, uh, just do that. Just, just level two it up. Loot and occupy. Anyway, that's going to be that for now. Um, 
thank you guys for watching. I will definitely be back with this soon. I don't know what I'll be streaming tomorrow. If I'll be streaming tomorrow, probably will be, but I don't know what yet. I because uh, I've like I kind of have three different campaigns going on right now, and I got a couple sponsor streams that I'm doing soon as well. One of them on a game I've already played in the past on the channel actually as well. Um, but I need to do those before the end of the month as well. So I'm not entirely sure what I'll be doing tomorrow, but we'll see. Uh, for now, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, Sherry has already subscribed, Sir Arthur. I know that name. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, have a good day and goodbye.